Welcome back to another episode of Just Weirdly Blended. Tonight is Friday, December 3rd, 2021. It's a, um, you know what they call that today? What is it, a palinundrum? Or what do they call it? A palinundrum, right? It's forward and backwards the same. Whoa. 12, 3, 21 is also, if you look at that backwards, is 12, 3, 21. Oh. <laughs> Which I actually didn't think about that. Which actually, I guess, in the month of December. Hold on. Yeah. Um, there's eleven of them this month. Whoa, you are so right. It's twelve. Yeah. Is that backwards? Forward no, and backwards is wow. the same. Wow. <clears throat> one of my tech... there's eleven of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's it's funny because uh, one of my techs, uh, Johnny, he's the one who he's listened to the show and stuff, and mm-hmm. uh, he's the one who let us use that thing. Oh, thank you, Johnny. Um. Yeah. He's the one who told me yesterday, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to put that on the cast because that's actually fucking cool. Yeah. I guess I, it's pretty rare for that many to happen in in a month. I'm trying to think of how that would be. For 21, you'd think 12 would be the only. It's probably the only one. <laughs> yeah. Right? Or 11. Oh, no. No, no, not it'd... 11. 19, oh, well. 11. <laughs> it would be like nine of them, right? No, it'd be every day. Not every day, though. it would be 12, I mean, every day. No, because <laughs> the 15th. so stupid. Right, the 15th wouldn't be the same. Why? Oh, it, 51. Yeah, yeah. yeah 51. Once you hit 10, it's off. Okay. But no, but then you got, you do got like 12, 11, 12, 21. 12, 11. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 12. But that would be. 12, 21, right? You can read that. 12, oh, 1, well. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 9. That's true. 12, 11. So there's 10 of them. Oh, yeah. 22. And 22, yeah. Other... There you go. You got 11. <laughs> I'll be damned. That's pretty cool, though. Wow, I just learned something. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, but it's pretty wild. I thought, I thought that was wild. Okay. Apparently, I don't teach that in first grade because... <laughs> to be honest with you, lot. I don't know There's... if anybody out there knows, but uh, the I've never heard of that. Palinundrum. I've, I've heard of it, I've heard but of the... I didn't remember the, the term for it. Yeah, I mean, <clears> I had, <throat> I've heard of the term... Or the, you know, the palinundrum or whatever. But yeah, I was like, ew. No, I, that honestly doesn't even really ring a bell. Like conundrum was the only word I could think of when you said what palinundrum. A conundrum. What a conundrum. Yeah. Which yeah. reminds me, have you ever heard the phrase, a uh, tempest in a teapot? Never. I like that phrase. I don't, what does that even mean? So like, if you think, you know, a tempest is like is a bad? sea storm. It's like an ocean storm. Okay. Really bad, like squalls and like hundred foot waves, right? Uh-huh. That could sink your boat. So you imagine that imagery of a it, tempest inside and then little... you change it by saying in a teapot oh, so it's like it takes it from this horrific me- scene to like this very contained controlled mm-hmm. I, I i really like that i don't know why excuse me guys oh, anyway um i had a burp there <laughs> <laughs> moving on on npr's uh <laughs> right that language was... hour there you guys go we just did a little we uh, just the, taught you two um, things the more you know the more <laughs> Right, the peacock. Yeah, the, the reading rainbow style looking hey. the shooting star. Do you remember? Did you know that? that people go hungry in America? The more you know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> For just three well, cents a day, you can a... save a dog. <laughs> this child, Mister Jesse, <laughs> lives in a cardboard box behind the building. <laughs> I know. That's a kid. The guy walks he over these kids. Pee water. Hey, get away from I me! I know. Get off! You're me. in our shot. <laughs> You're filthy. Get your COVID breath away from me. <laughs> Get your dirty hands <laughs> off dirty me. Hands. I'm wearing this is Gucci. <laughs> you think it's easy to keep these pants white? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Who wears white pants to a third world country with four people and doesn't have like an ounce of dirt on them? I wonder if those guys are dicks. <laughs> they are. <laughs> you know I was, I mean? was just rocking little Samantha. So this is what sleep. we're going to do. Let's just film all these poor people yeah. and say we're going to give them money. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. We're going to green screen it all in so these kids aren't even going to be near you. You can wear all the it's white all clothes you want. Kids, poor kid. <laughs> the kids get paid for that, do they? <sighs> no. Like how much money actually goes to these foundations? That's I what know. I always wonder. If you're a foundation, <laughs> write us. Let us know. No, well, I, can't you look it up? I you would be cool. I'd be cool like supporting stuff like that. But yeah. I always... In the back of my mind, I always like, well, how much is actually how much of what I'm giving you is actually going to? I the think there cause. is a website where you can look it up and see like yeah. a breakdown of every organization and how much percentage per dollar. Like, I, don't, I don't mind su- like supporting like certain charities oh, and stuff either. like that until you realize like 
ten percent's are really going to this yeah. cause. The other ninety percent's going to the, right. just fees and see. That's the thing. Pay. Some of them, it's like eight cents out of every dollar. That's goes no. towards like if your overhead is more than what you're giving, that's a problem. I think yeah, that's a business. <laughs> that's like I love uh, Saint Jude's. But... Blanc and I always uh, give the Saint Jude's. Oh yeah, Saint Jude's. They're is cool. good. I mean, Children's Hospital fighting uh, childhood cancers, which yeah. is pretty horrific, and uh, they. I think it's something like. 90 some cents out of ah. every dollar goes to it and i get i mean you're not gonna have a hundred percent for the most part unless you're root, like you know it's your own yeah i mean like if it's i guess if it's like uh what do they call those where you're just constantly donating your own money to it or whatever and 100 percent goes but organizations typically require people to run them and that costs money so yeah yeah and that makes you sense. know but there are some out there where but at least like, it's like 90 percent right. as opposed versus to the like verse. you know 90 percent going into overhead yeah overhead and then they pay their ceo four million dollars or something Fuck. what is it the ceo of jeff bezos or when he was the ceo of amazon oh, I, I don't know i don't <laughs> he was getting paid bang but not paying his employees shit. all i know is if anyone's interested <laughs> all right. in advertising i'm just saying i'm just being real yeah for if that were... for, for 90 cents on the dollar we'll advertise for you yeah yeah i got you <laughs> i'll hook you up <clears throat> but no, um, I've I've donated to s- some stuff, um, yeah. but it, it'd be like some can- cancer foundation stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. But it'd be like it would usually would say like a hundred percent of proceeds is going towards this. Sure, and I don't. And sometimes I'll do it. like those short term. Like, That's what it, it yeah, was. It was this, like a, like this weekend sale, a hundred percent of proceeds. Well, this one's like whatever. it ran for a month or two, uh-huh. but it only runs every so often. But anytime it runs, it's yeah. It's like uh, it like a hundred percent goes to that. See, charity, I'll often, which I thought was cool. I go to Petco and I'll often give like you know their little uh, register thing says like, would you like to donate to needy pets? And I'm always like, yeah, sure. The two dollars. Oh, yeah. I honestly have no idea what foundation Honest, that one is. I, I think humans care more about animals than humans. I love animals. Well, I'm just saying, like, if there was a sinking boat with people and a sinking boat with dogs, dogs would be saved one hundred percent first because the dogs are going to help you save all the people. Are there going to be? Right. Well, I, I'd hope. <laughs> I mean, the yeah, good like, ones. Are, are there going to be like, you know, have some PTSD and be like, no, nah, I'm not going in there, dude. I was just drowning. <laughs> you goddamn dogs. <laughs> this is my plan. You're ruining it. But I think there was a study like that where they were saying like, um, oh, yeah, pretty much, you know, like if if there was a choice, it was always the animal yeah. kind of thing. Like, well, you know, on the Titanic, the first people off the boat were the animals. <laughs> Probably. Women and children animals. stand in the second place. The dogs first. Bring the dogs forward. <laughs> Fuck, I, I bet. They had their own boat. That's why oh, some of these did. people... Are... <laughs> <laughs> I know. But no, there was like saying like people would rather like yeah. save a, an animal over... Yeah, stuff which I thought was kind of crazy. Like, well, who is it that sings the Arms of the Angel song? Is that Sarah McLaughlin? Yeah, is it? <laughs> yeah, right. the arms of <laughs> that's such a depressing ass song. I, I like, hate it. Okay, have you ever seen your own dog who's not beaten in a kennel? They shake like they're yeah. being beaten. So half those dogs are probably fine. <laughs> they're probably <laughs> they fine. probably know that they're getting a bath. It's her dog. <laughs> just, the guys in the corner kicking well, the kid. Literally, so your dog terrified. right now was it's terrified terrified. because he was going to get a haircut. Yeah. She's getting, she's getting her hair yeah, cut. Yeah, yeah, Sarah yeah. McLaughlin could sing a song for my <laughs> dog right now. <laughs> yeah. oh, dude, page. I should have played that song as she was trying to come in, the, in here. <laughs> looking dogs scared. dogs being viciously attacked by their owners <laughs> with dog grooming tools. I know. For just pennies a day. But um, You could save cupcakes. I guess, I guess I could say, did she agree to get her hair cut? Or are you guys forcing that on her? <laughs> That bitch huh? ain't got no rights. <laughs> <laughs> no. She wasn't um, asked to get a haircut. She didn't ask for the haircut. <laughs> I know. That was against that's her a, will. That's almost like a rape. Ooh. A dog. Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> sorry, Cupcake. You smell like shit. Uh, you don't have uh, Dude, to say we just, you smell that bad. We just cut Max's here not that long Okay, ago, Cupcake so. is, <laughs> this is going to sound really bad, but Cupcake has had matted shit in her face for like a week. No, no. So, I it, mean, it's not, bad. not it's, literal it's, shit, but those. No, 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 no. No, no, not literal. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Like, <laughs> like, I just the people out there, it's not literal. So it's Maltese. I have a Maltese. They get these black stuff matted. Well, in and their anytime eyes, they like put I... their face into anything, which yeah. frankly a dog will do ten times a day, they just it's, it's, it's so dog. hard to keep that clean too on those dogs. And have you ever seen a dog in a dog show? 
Yeah. We were watching. <laughs> I don't know why the fuck it was on my parents' house on Thanksgiving. But uh, that's West I'm not going to lie. I love your, do- your parents, but that's boring. <laughs> Nobody was really watching it. It was just odd. Can we get the game on, please? I think we were waiting for a football game or something because <laughs> a game did start after. But... For like hours, Actually, you, we're you know just what? watching these dogs running, and we're no, like, they're not you're, even happy. You're, you know what? Huh. I, I'm, I just made fun of him, but literally, same thing. When I was you guys brothers. had it on waiting. There was this dog that was doing work, though. It was yeah. running these obstacles. Oh, His God. name's like Kuambi. And their hair flows like the most beautiful woman. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. my God. Uh, but they're not happy. Like, they get happy for two seconds and look like a real dog, and then they're like, stop it. Stop yeah, it, like yeah, the one I was watching, it was is they were doing like an obstacle course uh-huh. thing, and this dog was fucking hauling ass. Dude, they, they're crazy. They probably get their ass beat if they don't do it right. right. Well, the lady <laughs> who was running with the dog, she, she fucking keep up. She bit it. <laughs> She fell. It was pretty funny that. So you got to lose points won, for that, right? What? That, okay, you don't lose points for the fat ass owner falling <laughs> yeah, yeah, over. Yeah. The dog won. I mean, he won it, but it oh, was like God, that's then crazy. they had like the long jump for dogs. Oh, I'm and sure. so they were like jumping <laughs> the javelin. Off. Well, no, they were right. They were jumping off a dock into water. Yeah, and oh. so and you'd see this dog, and they would just. There was a dog that almost jumped the lane. <laughs> they they want to see like a perfect dive. I know. Like no uh, splash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and mm. how did they, look at the execution. Yeah. <laughs> the hind paws. Yeah, no, Fido, he, uh. he just he just didn't bring it this week. Oh, he's right. been training for months and he's just had that splash and I, I really think that's going to hurt his points <laughs> yeah that was, that was a big splash there Jesse I don't know if there's any recovery <laughs> from that one and look at the panting his tongue is clearly hanging out the left side of his mouth we know that the proper way would be the right side of the mouth yeah he's, uh, he's definitely two points from the judges yeah. disqualification <laughs> the hair is matted we uh, just, uh, just, just in this dog was uh, taking uh, some performance enhancing <laughs> drugs <laughs> we'll, be right, we'll be right back after this commercial break in the old I know. Dude, there was, so there's these dogs. They were doing the long jump right into the into this swimming pool. And the dogs, there's these dogs, and they're they're fucking they're getting pretty far. Yeah. One dog like that you can clearly see would was was the winner because he almost fucking jumped the length of the damn pool. He just jumped over the pool. This other dog runs and it would be like if I jumped in a pool thinking all my might and I'm thinking I got this. It literally jumped like three feet. <laughs> Good trajectory, oh. and then yeah, yeah, down. dude, it looks so funny because he takes off and then he just <laughs> sinks hard. Boom! Yeah. Oh man, I was oh, like, oh, geez. that dog didn't win. <laughs> Stick tops, of course. No, oh, but no, man. it's funny you said that. Now that I think about it, we were watching. <laughs> It, we watching that, I don't know stuff. what it, it was a good. That time. part was funny, but uh, yeah, these dogs. I don't know. They're immaculate, just looking good. I mean, we bleach ours. The amount of work. I'm just kidding. I don't bleach my dog's hair because <laughs> um, it's white. You know, white's yeah, really know. hard. Our dogs are white, and... and some of those dogs. I mean, even with the white fur, they how just, often like, do you think perfect. they wash these dogs daily? They'd have to daily. Do you think multiple times? Could or... be. Well, I know they've got to bathe them right before the show because their fur, like. It... <laughs> If your own child who has long hair wakes up, it takes a while to untangle it, right? To cl- comb out all the little, oh yeah, uh, forever stuff. Like I know and Elena, dogs, if she doesn't comb her hair, it gets matted. And yeah, shit. and you look at these dogs, and they're running in slow motion before they go to commercial break, and it's just like this flowy hair. Yeah. So they have to wash it right before, and that in order for it to actually be that clean, they have to wash it daily. You're right. Yeah. Right. We would have to. Can you imagine the dogs with the long fur? The shorter fur would be easier, but the long fur dogs. That'd be annoying. And then they're licking their butt and you're like, hey, (laughs) we just paid for that. Dude, I would be, I'd be, it's got to suck to be those dogs. I know. Dude, I just want to be a fucking dog. You're too sophisticated for that. Get your face out of your balls. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Here you go, Fido. You can have fucking some, was it? some steak or something yeah. they probably eat something fucking it's caviar fancy. caviar come on <laughs> <laughs> sorry that's the dog's name <laughs> <I know. laughs> fuck we only feed him organic yeah. beef just <laughs> broccoli <laughs> organic i love uh, <laughs> that'd be terrible oh uh, yeah but only grain fed oh boy but i don't know Bringing up commercials, though, mm-hmm. well, I was telling you off air, it was about the Pepto commercial. <laughs> I really hate that fucking commercial because I don't know why the guy. Do you think that's his like the peak of his singing career? Uh, yeah. 
You know, like yeah. he's waiting to get signed, but that's well, who he signed him was he, Pepto, he was Johnson the, and Johnson or whoever owns Pepto. He was the best at singing that. Think about that. Think about that's all it. the guys that didn't get that job. But he nailed it then yeah. hardcore on everybody else because he carried <laughs> that diarrhea. Part. What are the lines? Diarrhea. You got acid, heartburn, indigestion, upset uh, stomach. Diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they changed it too. It used to just be uh, how did it, how did it, I thought it was just diarrhea. Go? It used to be heartburn, acid, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Right? Yeah, it was yeah, just it was like just... straight away, and they decided to take the most like funny and disgusting out of all of them, and then accentuate it at the very end. Diarrhea, dude. Like he's singing to his <laughs> girl. The, 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 <laughs> diarrhea. I know. <laughs> You can put some soul in that. <laughs> it's like when a kid that's not that great of a singer tries to sing the national anthem. Oh, yeah. I'd rather hear that than this the guy. Holy shit. Diarrhea. I, I really. Uh, the, the eye thing is the part that gets me. Probably because he has I diarrhea. diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> so much. <laughs> he just took some Pepto. He's like, oh, minute. They haven't kicked in yet. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. I hate commercials uh, mostly. Commercials for the most part are. Are they annoying? So we like we've been watching like Alone on Sling, mm -hmm. and then like some twenty no twenty twenties on Hulu. So no commercials. Uh, but um, Barbara Walters twenty twenty. This is twenty twenty. What is his name? Uh, John Quiontes or whatever, Quiones or something like that. I don't, like know. That. <laughs> I don't Don know. Julio. Don Julio. <laughs> Don Julio presents twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. He's uh, but anyway, uh, no, it's um, Sling. We were watching like okay. Alone and stuff, yeah, um, season eight, which is awesome fucking show because it's like they drop ten people in, and I think they were <laughs> in, the in, the, in Canada, like yeah. in they call it Grizzly Bear Ooh. country. Yeah. yeah, no, dude, a dude had a run in with a grizzly bear, and when I say a run in, like the grizzly bear was charging him and was within like 10 feet and so they a literal gave, run in yeah with the grizzly they bear. because he had so he um he, so you're allowed so many items and so a lot of them bring like a bow and stuff okay. like that <laughs> good luck the show gives you um bear spray and a, a horn to against the bear okay. like they give you that you probably like if insurance wise they probably have to yeah right? <laughs> so um this guy he he actually killed a deer right with the bear spray <laughs> it, it, yeah he sliced its throat wow shit with a knife snuck up on the deer no i'm just kidding he used a bow <laughs> <Ninja. laughs> like, sent you. dude Throw how quiet knife. would you have to be to sneak up dude. on a deer <laughs> stupid deer <laughs> <laughs> the deafest deer that deer was deaf it was it old. didn't have it tyrannating <laughs> it was really old <laughs> i know it, it, just couldn't move. it was really old it was missing a hoof <laughs> <laughs> is that i don't think that's what i was like i don't think that's what they said yeah, it might be it's like billy goat yeah, billy goat yeah. it's a mixed a mixed deer and goat it's a little you know of a goat but no so anyway, like yeah, he, so... he kills he kills the deer with the bow and everything yeah and he built a, a separate shelter and stuff for his meat and he smoked the meat that's and, smart yeah, yeah it was yeah. actually this dude was he he ends up <laughs> i'm not running into show, a grizzly bear but he was awesome and yeah but the, this grizzly bear started circling that area. Yeah. And he was over there. And when he was like, like, what's seeing what's going on, this bear starts co coming towards him. He had to use his bear spray. And this this bear was within like 10 feet of him, if not close. And that actually stopped the bear. The bear ran off. Yeah. Because it's pretty oh, much awesome. like pepper spray. It's but, bad. But like, yeah. Juiced for, up. For bears. For <clears throat> have you ever seen a grizzly like a kodiak those things are terrifying not up close i don't ever want to I've seen it on tv up close oh no these bears were <laughs> not small they're they were like they can run up to about um 35 12, miles an hour yeah. i was like Holy and they're like 12 shit. feet tall i think right they're big i mean if you can you imagine <laughs> your like, basketball hoop looking down at you but Baloo, it's a bear but angry no <laughs> it's not singing was he even a session. grizzly bear though Baloo was in a He was like some kind of Asian gray bear or something. Yeah, is that a real bear? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, I want to run into one of those singing bears. I, I want one of those singing Asian me. gray bears. I want one of the deep voice and just the bear necessities. The simple bear necessities. <laughs> No, uh, scratching his back on a tree. Cool. Give me that bear, dude. That's how I scratch my back. I think me I learned too. it from. Baloo. I was at work one day talking, and I realized I was doing it. I just slowly stopped. I like, oh, oh when I go into the the back area where my techs like sit and stuff, yeah. I'll go back there and talk to him. And there's this corner 
right? Yeah. As soon as you come down the little hall, it'll turn, yeah. and then just right in front of you is the uh, all the key, the QBs for where my tech sit, and so mm -hmm. I'll be in the corner and I'll just sit there and I'll just go back and forth like yeah, feels so good. Just talking to them and they they know they laugh. I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm, but I'm like, man, my back itches, y'all. Yeah, but yeah. What is it about the back? The back is like the itchiest part of the body. I don't know. <laughs> It just itches like crazy, and you can never get to the it's one spot. Itchy. I know. Um, I if can't I find my back scratcher ability, either. Really? Oh, <laughs> like I have one, but it's in my house. Here, Alicia cleaned our room really nice. <laughs> Elena taped it, so oh. it works again. Oh, nice! Look yeah, at that. look at that. <laughs> yeah, mine's like you know, the bottom of mine's like a. It's more like a pen. <laughs> yeah, it's probably more like this thickness. So, um, oh. but it's a. Uh, well, the bottom of this has a like a What's little hand thing? massager, I think. I think that's for your palm. I don't know. Oh, nice a little roller. Yeah, but oh, anyway, with the sling thing, that's yeah, right. Yeah, I got yeah, off yeah. subject. Sling. Sorry. Um, they've been having they have commercials, and there's a few of them <laughs> on there. I and they fucking... just repeat the same commercial for the most oh, part. Oh, right? they had this one <laughs> they repeated four times in a row. Yes, yeah. I was like, holy it used shit, to be sachet. I was like, if this fucking commercial comes on again. I'm going to break my TV. Yeah. Comes on again. Obviously, I didn't break my TV. So <laughs> that's expensive. Yeah. But not not something I wanted to see again. What's I was the like, commercial? Oh, God. Which one? I don't Mario. even want. God. Oh, my goodness. No. I would die. It was a Dell commercial. Oh. And I, I can't remember what the girl's name was. Or something. It was annoying. Mm. It was just annoying. Yeah. They're so loud and obnoxious. Yeah, and they do. I thought they outlawed that, but apparently not because the commercials blare. No matter no, what you dude, they to. must turn that shit up. It's like you're just sitting there and well, the, the shows, shows like, are so. Hi, I know. Uh, you the turn it up like, to Hi, thank you, uh, <laughs> Pepto Bismol. And you're like, Holy shit, you, what the? You turn it to like 80 just to hear the show. I don't know what it is about that, but it's always like we have to turn the TV up where it is blaring just to hear it. Yeah. And I know there's different settings. Like I get that there's different settings yeah, yeah, yeah. in the TV itself, but. Why would the settings of the commercial be different than the settings of the show? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Uh, maybe me. technology is getting a little out of hand. I don't know. But the commercials, commercials are just annoying. There are some that I, f I find funny, but they're always the banned <clears throat> ones. I think they're banned. Like yeah. there's a condom commercial. Oh, yeah. And it was, I don't know if it's in another country or if it was here, but it's like this guy's at a store and this kid's like throwing this huge fit, crying yeah. and all this stuff. <laughs> And the guy, and it's his kid, you know, and he's just like, looks stressed as shit. And then all of a sudden it just says, use condoms or something like that. <laughs> oh my God, I laughed so hard. That would work, probably. And then the Slim Jim, there was a Slim Jim commercial. Yeah. It's probably my favorite Slim Jim commercial, or one of my favorite um, commercials, actually, is yeah. these these two guys are talking, and um, they, they're talking about something about meat sticks or something. And then, <laughs> yeah. then they go that, you know, that's what she said. And then the grant, they cut to the grandma and the grandma's like, I doubt she said that. I remember <laughs> that one. Yeah. I something like, about like their big meat or something. Goes, yeah. I don't think they said yeah, that. She goes, I doubt they said that. Oh my <laughs> God. Me and Alicia that. just yeah. lost it. Cause it was just hilarious. Cause we were just so shocked that that was on TV. Yeah. Like, Do you remember the old, and, then they, and you never seen it again. Yeah. So I had, I always had to look it up. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the old Got Milk campaign? Oh, yeah. They had the the one where the kids were like, didn't want to drink their milk. And the mom's like, you need to drink your milk. Or you're going to be like so-and-so next door. And it cuts to the old man next door. And his hands are on the wheelbarrow. And he stands up to lift it up. And his arms just rip off. <laughs> and the kids go, <laughs> start chugging the milk. Milk so bad <laughs> like for you. I like that one. No, it's not. I thought the, I thought some of the there's stuff in milk that you can't your body no. your body can't really the process. The federal it. government says that it's safe. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, You're the, right. Uh, what, FDA. Oh yeah, they it's know. It's part of the food pyramid. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> but yeah, I thought there was something with the digestion or something with milk. Well, and, I mean, we're not baby cows. So I know. There is that? <laughs> like, but that said, you know, I've never really been a milk drinker. Really? Oh, let me tell you some cold two percent. I like that. Like but, I'll drink mm -hmm. milk with cookies. Yeah. Dipping some chocolate chip cookies. Like, am I telling <laughs> yeah. you, right? Oreos, chocolate chip cookies. Oreos are delicious. Oh, Oreos. Dude, I'll leave them in the milk for yep. a minute just yep, to yep, get yep. them a little soggy. I wait until... <laughs> and I get little chunks in there. And I I'm let like, them sink all the way in. Yeah. Like, and that's you, just you to tell you they're saturated. So no one drink my milk good. because my finger's in that shit. Yeah. Like, no one... <laughs> I think that's where COVID started. was my... My, <laughs> my dirty my finger my milk. Oreo milk. I know. <laughs> Sorry. I just dip it. 
Uh, milk's bomb though. Yeah. Like milk, my, milk in that sense, I like. I'll drink yeah. um, cereal. Yeah. Obviously. See, I used to get grossed out by cereal milk. Like I'll drink. I don't know why. I'm fine with it now, but as a kid, uh, it grossed me out. It depend on if it had something sweet in it, it was good milk. Yeah. But I, I even now I don't really drink the milk from cereal, but I'll eat it with cereal and stuff. I just drink it on principle now. Like I don't want to just waste it. Yeah, but like uh, I still just prefer regular milk. So, uh, like Sadi and stuff, she makes these like little like coffee drinks. So she uses the milk, and the, we've got we got some cereal. We just recently kids ha- they've been on this thing where they haven't want wanted cereal. Huh. First world problems now mm. or something like ugh, cereal. That's disgusting. Do you know that children mind cereal? Come on now, you know my son loves him some breakfast in the mornings. Yes, I do. <laughs> we get a lot of shit for that. <laughs> yeah, my son is very. Uh, <laughs> what, he's like, what Dad, are your Papa, I don't know if I want to spend the night. I'm like, why? Well, they don't got breakfast. <laughs> They're I'm bad like, at feeding me, Papa. I'm like, dude, it's fine. You can get some pancakes or something no <laughs> he loves pancakes and like all this other stuff for breakfast i'm like Dude, i made some good breakfast some last weekend it looked pretty good i'm not gonna lie Eggs. he was a little bummed i guess that you ate all the sausage apparently i asked them several I, times if they I, wanted I, more, more pieces and they were like no it got to the point it's like it's gonna go the way no, well so. no that's that's how it always is with kids I though know. you're like no 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 and then you eat it and they're like i wanted <clears> that well, i just tell them sorry dad got hungry no that's... dad's win <laughs> please I, I don't have i have zero remorse for those things I don't care. Like, I at don't. the end of the day, I'm like, I don't listen to whining. So I'm like, no. <laughs> well, you got to deal with it every day at your school. This week was a doozy. I love my kids. I still do. But let me tell you, by the end of the week, well, it's like, I think we all love our kids. Time to go to a, home. To a point. Time to go home. <laughs> I know. We yeah. had way too much excitement. Uh, my class got a. Um, what would that be? Like a stimulation overload kind of thing? Imagine. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Imagine Christmas morning with 20. Kids. and you're the only adult like ah, all fucking jacked on crack and- yeah i mean it we it was a very exciting day and it was a good thing i had a very awesome parent and her son her, her son who's a student in my class actually wanted to use his money to buy a, which is, that's pretty awesome it was really I mean, cool that, he wanted to buy an elf on the shelf that's a, that's a, like a big class. Kid move, though. that was amazing i, I really move and almost. the mom was great about it she's like i want to make sure before we buy this that you're actually okay with it i said yep i am okay well, I mean, of course, I knew it was going to be a very exciting day just because of that. And then we were writing letters to Santa Claus. They're first graders, if you haven't listened before. Yeah. Uh, so that was very exciting. And then we were finishing <laughs> they're, they're building papers. <laughs> they're seniors in high school. They all want gaming computers. <laughs> That's the first graders. <laughs> uh, I believe it, dude. But anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like it. I knew it was going to be busy. So, like, I was fully prepared for the hell that they brought forth. But by the end of it, I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I My brain, you know, like, uh, I call it brain drain. When mm-hmm. you just get to the point, like, you can't get the right word to come out of your mouth. You're just mentally just <laughs> like, done, dude. By the end of the day, I was trying. I'm like, ah, ah. <laughs> trying to find the right word <laughs> to even, like... <laughs> tell the kids like what to do i just like okay well i think after <clears throat> i don't know i was just having this conversation with so i had a new tech start mm-hmm. and so he's working help desk and tech at the same time because they're trying to hire someone yeah so we just had this conversation because um i think it was just just today on mental stuff because he was like yeah i get tired you know i would get tired when i'm like up here because mm-hmm. it's all it's a mental game yeah obviously yeah. you're sitting on the phone and Right, and tech works more physical. There's mental uh-huh. aspect to it. So, like, and I just I let him know. I go, no, I know how that is. I was like, because I, you know, I did construction for a while, and then yeah. I did tech work, and then now my position's all mental. So when I'm tired, it's more mental tired. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes that feels worse than physically tired. <clears throat> yeah, I'll get some nights, and it doesn't it doesn't happen much anymore. When I first started working as a teacher, so the thing about teaching that's kind of tough is like you have to make split second decisions pretty much all day long Mm -hmm. and there's like constantly 15 different ways of looking at any situation like i mean with kids like you know kids are yeah yeah oh for sure and your job is to mold them into these like respectful adults and it takes lots of years but it's like i mean all day long you're using your voice you're directing 20 kids you're doing all this stuff like it just you're like a manager 
It is with little kids that don't know how to do half of what you're asking them to do. So you have to break it down and explain it. And then some kids are like bored. So you have to, you know, that doesn't change when they get older. No, kids and adults are not. We've said this before. I'm pretty sure on this podcast, I got, I adults are no. I got a high school kid that's <laughs> yeah. doesn't like, you know, yeah. same. It's the same way. Uh, middle school kids, yep. you know, our middle school yeah. try to tell them, do this. You know, it'll yep. be easier in your life, but, you know. Oh, they got to learn on their own. But, they do. They and I'm fall. not complaining about my job. I, I do love my job, and I feel very blessed to be able to do it. But, I mean, there's this, that's, there, I mean, I think like any job, there's those aspects. Where well, it's, it's just like, the energy tough. is so high right now Yeah, between Thanksgiving and then Christmas. I mean, they're just so like, yeah. Santa's <laughs> fucking coming down that chimney any moment. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm like, okay. <laughs> My Friday afternoon is like, go home. <laughs> well, then, then I mean, like you said, you just topped it off with Elf so on the sweet. shelf. I know. And that was my bad. And I knew it was going to be bad. Elf on but, the shelf uh, would just. They're all very. I mean, for the first What was hour, his name, by the way? Uh, it was a girl. Oh, and her name was Crystal. And let me tell you, <laughs> that started Int- my day. That's an interesting the boy name that for brought, an elf. Okay. So I wanted to teach the kids the value of um, like elections. Mm-hmm. And whether you win or lose. You know, it's a democracy. This is how this America is how works. works. This is America. This is how this we was work. Like not like our democracy, where like who you vote for is kind of chosen for you, and then yeah, yeah, you select yeah. that as oh no, like, it's not. It it's was American voted. For, I for... made it very fair, and like I kind of explained to the kids the process. So the boy that actually bought it and brought it to class, yeah, I let him give the first name. He didn't have to get his name pulled or anything. He just got to choose the first name, and then I pulled three more sticks, and those kids who I pulled. They got to give one more name. Okay, so, so there wasn't were, everyone thrown out names. I couldn't. I mean, that'd be way too much. But like, you have twenty different names. I ended up finding a fair way because he brought the the, well, the yeah, thing. I'm he, like, it's okay, only right. One hundred percent, you get to. Put what was hand. his name? And he had already agreed that that was the deal. He was all good with that. Yeah. So uh, I can't remember what his was. Pretty good, actually. Like it, it really was a good uh, little elf name. I don't. It was like peppermint. Oh, something along those that lines. That sounds like a cool elf. Right? That's a cool elf name. <clears throat> so Crystal. <laughs> Crystal wasn't my favorite, but the kiddo that came up with it was very happy and excited about it. And you know Which what? Which is awesome. At the end be. of the day, in a fair election, I, I typed up real quick when they were giving me the names, like a little ballot, and I printed them off and I cut them real quick. I gave them, we give these little, uh, uh, we call them offices when the kids take tests, and they were going to take a test after. So I just told was them. That, was that their, the voting booth? Yeah. So I gave nice. it to them and I said, okay, about an election, you don't have to tell anybody who you're voting for. It's totally up to you. Yeah. Nobody can change your mind. Word like, of the day, anonymous. You decide yeah, like <laughs> what you believe. And they all like circled the name that they liked. They folded it. They put it up in the air. I took them. And then I put it on the projector and we counted all the names as they were pulled in. And I made stacks of each. And I showed, okay, Crystal was clearly the winner. He did not like that. And it was like, I thought the Capitol was about to be stormed again. <laughs> he was not coming come, come to overthrow. <laughs> he was not happy. Uh, and I had to like talk to like, him like Crystal's five a, a times. Re- he was. He was cool like, name, dude. Crystal's That's a stupid name. And I'm going to have to listen to it all day. And he was like in tears. I'm like, buddy, you agreed with me that this is how we would do it. He's like, I but know. I, I'm pretty sure that's how... Some what he told you know what he told me though like to... you know what he told me though huh. and well and i told him that i said look when you're an adult you're gonna vote for people that you really want to win and they might not win and they may not win and you'll feel this way but we have to act a different way yeah look at you <laughs> i know right that's that's a, that's a good way to do it so i mean i just figured like for one thing it was a really good lesson for him but so last year he did the same thing yeah i guess they bought his class his kinder class one and they liked his name the most, and he won the election. Oh, this so year he, he just didn't get assumed it. that it was going to be like, like you know, a rigged election. It was rigged. We gonna, it was probably rigged. I got a few more votes here for Twinkle Toes. <laughs> <laughs> like, he should have. He should have called Russia. Uh, <laughs> you got any dirt? I need some dirt on Twinkle Toes. <laughs> This crystal bitch is crystal, not going to win. I heard she was a prostitute. I'm just hearing. I'm just saying. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell is a nasty woman. <laughs> she was fucking working the streets at the North oh. Pole and dancing at the North Pole. <laughs> that elf is eating a lot of dick. Okay? I, I remember on the off season. Oh god! At the bar called the North Pole. <laughs> She's t- crystal was there working. <laughs> she started as a little person stripping. I just, just saying. I heard she's not even an elf. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, uh, well, that's a good lesson for him. Back to reality. I did not say any of that in oh, class. Of but no, I mean, by the end of the day, he was kind of okay. I told him, I'm like, you, these, the kids are only going to care about the name for like a day. Yeah. And then it's just going to be the elf. Where's movie. he at? Where's he at? Where's right. she at? And so, like, I don't know. By the end, he was okay. I told him, like, you just need to go to technology and get your mind off of it for a minute yeah. and then come back and be fine. Okay? It was cool. He was all right. He had, I don't know. It just was an off day. Taking for a loss some of the kids. is tough, though. It was. And I think it did kind of affect Especially the first time. Day. That could have been one of his first right. losses, man. That's like, and I still like the, the nuts. What bothered me was he did such a nice thing that I really didn't want it. I didn't want his behavior after that or his choices to then ruin the good thing he did. Yeah, you know what I, I mean? That, like, that was sense. my worry is like trying to, and this Bal- is what I'm talking that's about. That's a balancing act. Every day, all day, that's what you're doing is like trying to decide the perfect way to go about these situations to make sure that the kids get hey, the Tommy, best. Hey, Tommy, stop being a little bitch. <laughs> Come on. You little fucker. I told you to shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's not the right way to deal with it, apparently. Uh, See, no, but so, I I mean, it turned out to be an okay day, but it just was like, I was so mentally that's, drained. Well, that's, I mean, it it, it can be stressful. For well, sure. uh, so then not we, even just stressful, but just like you said, mental. Like, yeah. Even well, though something's mentally draining doesn't mean it's yeah. stressful, I guess. Well, but. you just get to the point, like, by the end of the day, we had a couple just like arguments during the day. I'm like, okay, you guys, come on. Like, we are better than this. And then yeah. we were trying to finish up these paper Santa Clauses, which are a lot of fun, but there are a lot of steps. And then you get a kid that cries because... Do the, you put the little, like, uh, console up for his beard and shit? No, yeah, those it's all paper. Oh. It's all paper. But, you know, you get the kid that thinks they're cutting the hat the way they want it, and then it's itty-bitty. I get that. <laughs> then they're, like, crying. Oh, no. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. I Most love... of the kids kind of figured it out, but I, I was so exhausted by the end of that. You'd be like, guys. And then I had, like, 10 minutes to make popcorn. You there know what? Everyone, you're party. released home uh, early. Any teacher out there knows. Like, don't do not do a popcorn party the same week you're doing a paper Santa Claus, getting an elf on the shelf. Like, I'm an idiot. Mr. Power, where's our popcorn? I know. <laughs> Listen, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I want my goddamn popcorn. I, mean, I almost had to, like, tell them, like, I, I'm not taking this party away from you because you guys, like, earned it. But you guys need like, to you, you, you need to chill. You're, the f- you're, out. Yeah, and like your choices are making this take so much time because they were up out of their seats, they were getting way too wild. And like you need to decide if you want this party today. Because if we don't have time, it's moving. So back. are you gonna be doing a Christmas party too? The day before school's out, and that's yeah. fine. Half of our day is a party and watching uh, the Polar Express. The, the school, we used to bring the kids into the gym, and it was really cool. Like, Polar they Express. got a golden ticket, and they got a candy Doesn't cane. Doesn't that kid run away? On the way, no. <laughs> no, it's not <laughs> run away, away if you go to Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fucking runaway. <laughs> fucking get rewarded, bullshit. <laughs> Here's your ticket. <laughs> you want some hot cocoa? <laughs> you ran away from your parents. <laughs> fucking, that's a child ring right that, there. The movie is a good movie, but that one kid's voice. I can't stand his voice. <laughs> is it Gilbert Gottfried? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, that movie's good. <laughs> Wasn't Tom, H- the Tom Hanks is the conductor? He's the yeah, yep, yep. He's the yep. Uh, the one taking the kids and into the child ring. Dude, that's voice. a child ring, bro. I know. There's something because I mean, there was a shitload of kids. Hey, kid, you want some hot chocolate? Let's all take this train. Just get on my train. We don't need parents. We'll take you to the North Pole. Yeah, hundreds of kids. Parents will never hear, but there's the bell that only you will hear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah. Anyway, that's if like... you're digging deep. <laughs> I think what it really was was a documentary on Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> like, you know he was behind the the funding for that movie, right? Do you know yeah, <laughs> under what's her name's name Maxwell? Yeah, what the fuck's her name? Giselle or Giselle something? Maxwell? Sorry, I gotta fix myself. Let me tell you, Bang Bang Maxwell, Silver Hammer, am I right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that gal's going down hard. Dude, they got Harder so much than shit. They, Lewinsky. they got so much. <laughs> uh, they got so much shit on her, though. Oh, she's fucked, they and she it. should be. Where's the story about her? Like, no, why no. is this not number hey, one in the world? You know why? Yeah, because of the new Omni crew. <gasps> yes. Do you notice that came up? It's see, I'm not, I'm not. So I'm kind of in conspiracy sometimes because uh-huh. some of them are, sound cool, obviously. Um, I'm not the whole COVID stuff. Whatever. I'm not like yeah. conspiracy with yeah. that, but. The timing, I mean, yeah, Omnicrom came that that whole Maxwell Maxwell case came, but you don't hear about the Maxwell case. What if Maxwell? 
You know what I mean? Bear with me. Like, why would they hide that, though? That's what I want to know. Why don't they make that more publicity, publicity or it, whatever? It should be. I think you need to know. People need to know that these people are pieces. Of I'm shit. gonna be honest. You know what I mean? I think it has to do with the fact that there's so much money. Right, oh, it's all money. <clears throat> these are very wealthy people. If you can afford Did, private islands, I was gonna say, yeah, I was gonna say, doesn't to he have there. an island? Well, that's the thing. Like, it wasn't people like us going to visit these places with these kids, right? If it was people like us, that would have been open and shut in about twenty minutes. It would have, and it should be. And yeah. this is the part, like it. It was obviously the wealthiest of the wealth. We're talking the one percenters. They run the country. Yes. They're in the media, yep. right? They own the media. So it is in their own. It, like, I'm not a conspiracist, but I do think follow the money. Uh, conspiracy in America, the only thing that is a known fact is that the very wealthy in this country control everything. Yeah, for sure. They can and buy the way through shit. That is not a conspiracy. That's fact. We know it. They decide who we're going to have to vote for yep. because you have to have money to even run an election. We, they, everything, they buy everything. They own everything. We only hear what they want us to hear. I believe that. I so, believe that 100%. And that's not conspiracy. I mean, it's not like some, some conspiracies get pretty crazy. And it's I like think, you really have to. But I think there's people out there who strange. don't believe that, though. Well, they're called rich people. They're like, <laughs> no, it's not like that. That's not. You guys just want to believe that. They Look. Mean. I'm not saying that you can't become, you know, modestly what did, what wealthy. What was Jeffrey Epstein? Well. What was he? He was a billionaire uh, money financier guy. Like That's he it. ran some, I'm going to guess, he, I know he was in financial, in the financial sector. Yeah. So he was an egomaniac, a sociopath. And guess what? He was a rich prick. Big surprise. So, you know, I, I listen to podcasts and shit. Mm -hmm. um, I've said this a million times. But on one of them, one of the things they say, and I, I kind of tend to agree with this, there's a comes to a point where you're so rich that you don't know what to do, right? Mm -hmm. and you get bored and then it's You like... get bored at having the same <clears throat> sex, right, yeah. all the time. So you want to, you're, you're, oh, let's do something different. Let's fucking, <laughs> fucking take kids to these stupid, these islands and be fucking dirt bags. Yeah. I, I, or, you I, know, it's like gotta people be do some crazy a shit. subset, though. I, it's I mean, got to like, be because they're rich. Know. You just think. <laughs> It's, uh, it's because they're rich. You know what? I'm jumping disgusting. on that bandwagon because fuck those guys. Like, no, nah, I, I, mean, I have zero sympathy for those. I don't, what I, what I, is, is there upsetting. anybody who thinks that these people are innocent? That's what I want to the know. The problem is we'll never know who they are. Yeah, you that's, know, that's true. the reality of it. We'll never know who they actually are. And it's funny to me as much as like we've had conversations about the government and everything and all yeah. that. And like the sad thing about the government, the government is a bunch of people whose only interest is staying elected. Yep. They don't want Yeah, we just together. had this conversation. They last, can't last I don't believe the the government can orchestrate a conspiracy that would get us out of a paper bag myself. No. But I do believe I think they can, can I do, do believe some that stuff, their interest some stuff. is to be in power. Yeah. At whatever cost. And what that means is the rich people that are going to give you the money to stay in power, you do whatever they say. You yeah, you want to make your customers happy. We know for a fact right? that they spend 70% of their time staying elected. That's just a fact. Even in like local state elections, you know what kind of money it takes to win a real election? Probably a shit ton. Beyond like, your city council or whatever, which even that is probably like crazy. what was it? Who's our oh Eagles? <laughs> I, I don't hear any Who? who's our mayor? Or not the mayor, the fucking governor. Oh, oh Inslee. Inslee yeah. Ingles. Close Inslee. enough. <laughs> Laura Ingalls <laughs> Wilder. Inslee, like yeah. I don't know. Not like I'm saying I'm not I'm not a political person. I yeah. won't ever pretend to be <clears throat> into politics and whatever, but I can see how you know yeah. he wasn't I don't know. I don't think he was the best person to be running our state, but well the thing is here we are. whether we like it or not, he was voted. We get who we get. And typically parties are the ones that determine who gets to actually run. I, I felt like that kid in your class. Yeah. When Inslee won. Fuck this. <laughs> I cried. <laughs> I just <laughs> cried myself to sleep that night. <laughs> well, the thing that's funny to me though is like really you look at that scenario, it's no different than adults, like you said. When yeah. Trump won the first time, people that loved Hillary were crying and losing their minds and saying it wasn't. And I'm not going to lie. I was, I was gl glad she didn't win. And I was one of the ones that was glad. She well, that's the thing. But then happy. the Trump side of it, Joe no. Biden won. 
and you had a lot of people crying about the other, you know, we you always know it's going to be happy. We always think it's unfair and unconstitutional and not right when we don't win. Yeah. Thank God there are systems in place that have worked. Yeah. And I, I, do I, I think some of the stuff might be rigged though? I, I tend to kind of lean towards that on some yeah. stuff. But, well, I mean, I, I'll never know. May, no one will ever know. But I think, you know, in our system, hopefully there's strong, solid evidence. There is bodies they'll cover it, it up <laughs> the truth is out there <laughs> x-files dude x-files was a fucking great show it was a great show and you know it does remind me a lot of i, I love uh, the x-files supernatural and uh, I, there's some uh i was just watching supernatural last night yeah yeah i'm rewatching it again i'm yeah. on season two okay we're on se- the end of season six, I think. But yeah, it was, yeah, it was pretty funny. We just saw the episode that you were telling me about forever, where they end up in a TV version of themselves, yeah, which oh, is yeah. ironic because they are a TV version of themselves. Yeah, yeah. They bust through in the glass, yeah. like rubber. So that, yeah. <laughs> and so that like the <laughs> knife and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I enjoyed that. That was no, fun. That, that, that episode was, was fucking hilarious. <laughs> they did rip themselves quite a bit, which I thought was great. Yeah. Like how oh, much this is terrible writing. Need <laughs> like yeah. how much money are they going to make? Remember when the guys like, <laughs> are you trying to get more money? Okay, we can go and sit down and talk about <laughs> money. He's like, these guys are already overpaid. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's great. like like um, what was it? <clears throat> the writing. I think they said it was terrible. Yeah, right. Well, even the books. <laughs> yeah. Remember the like season two or whatever when the guys writing the books. Of yeah. Supernatural yeah. was like, what is this crap? <laughs> yeah dude so i was it's funny so i was just uh i was on google and um there was like 10 things about dean mm-hmm. who's one of the characters if anybody who hasn't watched the show he uh dean winchester that hasn't aged and it's like he how he treats women he's mis, you know this way or that oh. way like he just throws him to the curb and then one was how he treats his supernatural fans and i'm like Oh my god! Obviously, I don't think these people watch the show. <laughs> like he is the actor, or he is the character. His character mm-hmm. is this basically like misogynistic. Like he doesn't like his fans because you know, like, but they're not is... really his fans because they never are yeah, really well, about he just him. Hates... They're about some fake version of him. Yeah, that's so, like what they're. Well, no, about. I know. And so, like, some of the stuff as I'm reading, I'm like, <laughs> do they not watch the show? Because yeah. Whatever. Uh, well, obviously, it, it's come for me. I've seen the show a few times, and so I I know the show. And so yeah, I, I think a lot of times it was pretty the haters funny, of anything was, don't really watch or read what they're. Yeah, I think they just see. For something. example, people that hate Dave Chappelle because he apparently is transphobic. Watch it. Actually, I just, I, did watch I tell what you he watch has that? to say. Yeah, I actually watched it. it was, was he transphobic? Not it. Not a, if you're transphobic, you wouldn't have someone who's a trans opening for you. Yeah. You wouldn't consider him like a good friend. You wouldn't. And you know what? You like, probably wouldn't even talk I about trans people. I think he just, he made his point basically yeah. about how people are. And how did he end his point? He said he's not talking about them. Yeah. The issue is, he said white people, yeah. which I took offense to. <laughs> yeah, I'm so no. offended. No, I get what his point was. Yeah. His point was, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I don't no, know. I, just watch it. And I, frankly, I, everyone I honestly just don't needs, think he was. He I think what it no is one. for the main point, because I was I don't have issues with anybody. I, I fully believe that you should as long as you're not violating laws where someone's getting hurt. Yeah, yeah. I obviously like the whole Epstein thing is not a part of this, but I believe people should live their lives. I don't think the government should tell you who you can and can't marry. Again, as long as they're not children. And uh I but at the same time, I think everyone just needs to take a little bit of a breath. And maybe stop looking for the argument. Yeah, I, th- I just think that's how it is now. <clears throat> it is. Right People now. want to be heard whether they have anything to say or not. Yeah. And there are plenty of people that have a lot to say. But if you just want to get mad at somebody. I, th- I, think, I think we're just in that cycle. How many people say cultures... shit about Dave Chappelle because they had to for their group or for whatever? Man, many people Without probably. even listening to what he said. We need to become thinkers again, not well, I, just I think reactors. people, yeah, I think that's what it is. People just react. Yeah. They hear something third party or they hear yep. it or read it and they just they just react. Oh, yeah. yeah well, yeah, I agree. Well, like anything, but then if you identify If you actually yourself, look into something, then you'll be like, oh, actually, it was... Yeah. Well, if you identify identify yourself as anything, I used to say this about Democrats and Republicans. If you say I'm a, like, listen to how people say it. 
I'm a Democrat. I'm a Republican. Yeah, I'm straight. Like I'm you were saying gay. last week, I'm the trans. identity thing. The second you lock yourself into an identity, and I'm not one of those people that's all about like, whatever. I'm not trying to get too deep on that. Like I have an identity and all that. But if you if you identify yourself by those terms, you don't think outside of those terms. And the, the idea of group think and the idea of your prejudices and your tribalism, they come out and they control you in ways that are becoming dangerous. We hate each other over nothing. Yeah. And that's got to stop. I, anyway, yeah. not to go on that not in, again. But. Yeah, I get what you're saying, though. It's like, I but don't I know. just like, enough's enough, guys. Like, we got to deal with this world together, right? Yeah, and we're in this together. We're in on. this shithole together. Let's make it less of a shithole. Let's hate the rich people. That's all I'm Let's saying. Let's hate that 1%. That 1%ers. What happened to that? Remember, like, after Fuck the financial they, collapse, we all were angry at the they, very rich people. You know that what? They need us. to give us money. And where did that go? Now we hate. Joe think, Biden and Donald Trump, they aren't the end of the game. Do you remember when the NRA came to the White House and Donald Trump dropped gun control? Yeah. You remember that? They're all controlled by the rich people that walk in. And That's Donald Trump is. is an extremely rich man. He's a little rich. And so... There is nobody that's going to really support you as long as rich people have as big a voice as they do. Well, and if it's going to affect their pocket, they ain't going to support you. No, and companies have the same voice that we do. It's that whole Citizens United thing. Yeah. I mean, a massive corporation can donate as much money they want. How are we ever going to compete with that as average citizens? We never will. We won't. Anyway, I know. Not I don't get it. All right, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Okay, that's, now that's you're just the one getting percent. rude. That's now you're just 1%. getting rude. But it should be this. Yeah. Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> a little dark. That's I don't want anyone I'm... to die. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> you know, like I don't know, and I don't, I don't hate people for being rich. Like I think it's great to be rich. I'm, I think, I'm more of a conservative you, yeah. in that way. I think it's a good thing to promote. No, I think it's cool. That, like being able, there's you, a point, you made though, yourself that rich. I mean, does awesome. the average American citizen have any voice anymore? Nope. When the wealthy get to make the game and then we all have to play it. That's all I'm asking. And what we do about it, I don't fully know. I'm just saying maybe we identify who the real issue is in this country and then work from there. But yeah. anyway, that said, we saw one hell of a uh, fight, fight this, club. So we, we went to the gas <laughs> station. Episode. So before this started, I was like, you know what? We're going to have a Tom's Collins. A Tom's Collins. My Collins. A Tom Collins. And that's what we're drinking. I'm I'm. I'm back on the wagon. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, no, but this time it's a yeah, it, gin, but which I'm, is a I'm, different drink. I'm still just having my drink. Just yeah. one little small thing. It's a Tom Control Collins. Control myself. You don't get drunk on a Tom Collins. We're uh, we're acting like one percenters tonight. Yeah, yeah. My legs are crossed, and yeah. I'm wearing something fa Speaking fancy. Speaking of one percenters, I have not had to liquidate any assets yet. We're good. <laughs> we're still doing fine. No, so <laughs> so we went and we grabbed yeah. some uh, ginger ale, whatever. Yep. Um and yeah, we seen something pretty interesting when we uh well, we got roll up. that was fucking funny, dude. That was, <laughs> we roll up. I was when, when I rolled up, when I drove up, I was like, what's it with yeah. you know what my initial thought actually? This was literally my initial thought as we were driving up because the way because I seen that the the guy was on the passenger side. Yeah. You know what? Because this car so we drove up, there's this car in the not in not park, but it was looks like it's route about to leave. Yeah. It's already out of its parking spot. So when I initially, just before I parked, this guy's on the driver's side. I was thinking, oh, shit. And, I, and, that, and so at first, I didn't see anybody in the car. I was like, they must have got out and they fucking locked their keys in the car. That was my initial thought. Yeah. You know, and then I yeah. parked and then, you know. <clears throat> Once we got out, we heard what the, <laughs> it was actually, uh, the guy was actually saying. And it was, I believe, I quote. Uh, <laughs> you fucking pussy. <laughs> get out of the car, you fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah. And punching the window. Fucking hitting the window. Get then, out of the car, you fucking the, pussy. The, the car didn't even drive away all that, like, dramatically. No, it, it was just very sort of slow. the way normal, thank God. Was he out of gas? He was at a gas station or something? <laughs> no. Did he so push? We follow the guy yelling into the gas yeah, station. Yeah, he was very angry. By and the at way. first, I'm thinking like, "Oh, this could be interesting." Well, then the guy works there. Apparently, he yeah, walks yeah. into the back room, and the guy behind the counter, super nice guy. Yeah, he was very a nice. A little awkwardly, he was like, "Hi, hey, guys." <laughs> I know. As I'm walking to the back to go find our ginger ale, I just had the biggest smile. Uh, I was like, just laughing at the fact that this guy just blew up the way he did, and. I, I, we have no idea. I just wish we got gotten there like a minute I, earlier. I feel like that all transpired in a rapid, rapid. right? Because like, like I said, when I drove up, 
I was thinking heart <clears throat> keys are locked. Yeah. And then when we stopped, I looked over and I was like, oh, you know, I don't know. Maybe someone he's grabbing something for them. I don't know. And then we open the door and that's when we hear him like fucking pussy. Yeah. Go to the car, you fucking pussy. Yeah, he, as he bangs on the window. Yeah. Hard, hard. Yeah. I mean, he was a pretty scrawny guy, so I don't I don't think the window was fine. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say His arm there was no damage to the car. He no. might need to go to the hospital. But <laughs> but that was probably the funny that was oh god, that was hilarious. That was so funny. Good good times. Good times. Yeah. Fun, huh? It was uh it took me back to my two days working at a gas station. I I don't know. That guy, something bad must have happened. If you've not ever worked at a gas station, I recommend that you do it for one or two shifts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think he, he I, cares if he loses his job. I'm a teacher. It's not an easy job. I would do it until I die over working one day at a gas station. But <laughs> didn't you get robbed? No, oh, no, no. Wait, no, you got I, robbed, right? I went into it. I needed a job. It was 2009. Tacoma. Yep. It was 2009. I did. I studied history. Yep. <laughs> 2006, that was just fine. 2009, not good at all. So I graduated, couldn't get a job, um, ended up, uh, my aunt had a room to rent over in the Tacoma area. So I thought, well, maybe I'll try my luck over there. After hanging out and screwing around for a little while, I realized like, okay, and this isn't working. And my cousin worked at a gas station. His girlfriend at the time was able to get me a job. I was like, okay, you know, I'll do yeah. this for a while, whatever. Wow. Yeah, I started. The first day was kind of okay, a little overwhelming. I didn't know how to run a cash register. That was my yeah. own bad. Day number two, it was a night shift, and I'm working with a gal, and she goes, and like, not even like trying to scare me, just like matter of fact, because I went into this thinking like it's TV world that these places actually get robbed. Yeah. She looked at me and said, Don't look nervous, they'll rob you. <laughs> I was like, Okay, fuck. Don't fucking look nervous. <laughs> and my grandma was calling me the night before and saying, I don't think you should do this. You're not rough around the edges, is what she <laughs> said. Your cousin's rough around the edges. You're not rough around the edges. Thank you for your, <laughs> thanks your, for your confidence, your, Grams. Uh, thanks for calling me a pussy, Grandma. <laughs> I know, that was you're, way. You shouldn't. You're going to die, Tom. And uh, <laughs> she, she so not well only that, you a pussy. day two, clearly i am not the most um urban <laughs> guy no, like no, i don't very have street. you know i i'm a teacher at heart like i'm a, yeah, I'm a yeah. good first grade teacher right you don't look so rough they, around they, the uh, you're gonna go as to your grandma said the, basically it was the worst neighborhood in tacoma it oh. was right off the south freeway and is that um, where the tacoma dome is and all that it's that sort of area yes. okay, okay i don't remember the exact neighborhood name now but it was uh, a very rough area i was going to work the night shift alone the next night oh, i had okay. been training for two days didn't know anything i realized that like 10 o'clock that night tomorrow night the doors are getting locked around 11 o'clock and i'm gonna get fired the next day so i just told her i'm like i don't think i can do this and she's <laughs> like i waited till like 11 we were like outside <laughs> taking the garbage out of the garbage because we're looking at it, uh i can't do this i'm like, out she goes what i go yeah like i'll finish tonight but i'm done and she's like okay <laughs> this is fucking hard man <laughs> uh, would you so do you do you think it was just you were more worried that um you'd get robbed well you knew that i was uh, i've i've said I, I take anxiety medication yeah, yeah yeah i have always had an extreme amount of anxiety at that point i was at like a low in my life i really was at like a very low point anyway so low point as in you were feeling low just yeah. feeling very low yeah. very like even mentally just sort of like not at a breaking point, but just like I couldn't take much more hits, you know, if mm -hmm. you will. Just I could feel like I wasn't as strong as normal. Yeah. So I just, I don't know. It ended up being like the greatest thing ever because <laughs> I came back home and I started what turned into me becoming a teacher. So that was very good. So very like a little, so it, it, it had, it had a, like it a really, good like outcome. Well, my, my what would have happened if you thought, would have stayed? See, I would have ended up making a career out of working at a gas station. And nothing against that. That's great. But I obviously was not very good at Dude, it. Dude, I, I worked, I worked <laughs> so, fast food for years. And I knew, oh I mean, Lord. you know, if you're going to make a career out of something. I mean, I knew and I was I, never going to make a career out of working I at an Arby's. I do not mean this in a demeaning way at all to people that work there. Because I, I got to tell you, I think some of our most, what we call menial jobs, are some of the hardest jobs. Oh, for sure. Dude, I work customer service for <clears throat> yeah. I, I mean I, i'm still in the customer service field so yeah. i've worked customer service my whole life yeah um fast food gets a bad rap and 
Right. Honestly, that was probably one of my favorite times of working. Yeah, I, I mean, I had some customers that really pissed the sh- oh, pissed yeah. me off, dude. I had someone throw a sandwich at me. See, maybe that's what happened at the gas station. Like they they were mad because <laughs> their shit wasn't right, and I had just clocked in on my shift. And, yeah. Um, I was the like shift manager, and so I'm like, you know, I'm like 19 years old, and he's like, comes in all pissed off, and I'm like, what's going on? I ordered this sandwich. It got sauce on it. I didn't ask for sauce, and he fucking throws it, and it hits me in my stomach, and I'm like, <sighs> I fucking take a breath, and I look at it, and my first thought was like, I want to fucking throw this at your face right now, but I'm like, whatever. I fucking grab it, and I grab it and i think one of the employees sees my face and kudos to her because she stepped I, in and helped you she stepped in because i grabbed the sandwich and i held it for a second i fucking just threw it in the garbage and i was like <laughs> yeah that's... okay and she fucking <clears throat> she jumps in and she gives him attitude right oh and she's this like chinese lady and she's she's a little bigger you know um she was fucking so cool her and her mom work there and she starts bitching at this dude, right? And he's like, let me see your ID. You know, I want I want your name or whatever. And so, you know, it was this magnetic thing that said in our pocket. Yeah, yeah. Like you're a cop. Yeah, yeah. I want to see your, I but want your name. I want your number. Yeah. That's kind of what he did. I'm going to so, report you um, to your supervisor. So she grabs her. Over a sandwich. Over a sandwich. So she, you know, she's, she basically sticked up for me because I was just like, People might say I was a pussy, but I was—I bit my lip because I was that's, like, "That's I, smart." When I you're was at not, your job, you gotta realize I was 19, and, and I, you were being professional. And I was like, "Okay, yeah, it's my job. I don't want to f- fucking scream yeah. and you know say some stupid." And you were a shift manager. That was good. That was yeah, <laughs> very managerial. I would have talked to the manager. Oh, I am the manager. Oh, yeah, 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 I am the manager, bitch. <laughs> but like, you know, I was. If he would have just came at me straight, I would have yeah. been like, let's fix your shit up, bro. Right. I got you. Like, Which I was I was always that way. Like, let's just, oh, it's well, not I working. what was because going on in his world where that sandwich uh, just put him over the edge. I, I don't know. fucking thoughts on the sandwich. She throw, he goes, can I see your name? And she's like, you want my name? And he's like, yeah. She fucking snaps her, <laughs> her name tag off and throws it across the restaurant. You want my name? There it is. Go get it. I was laughing. Oh my god! I walked away just smiling and wow. laughing so hard. <laughs> Get this, he laughed when she did that. Really? Like I think it just shocked him to he the point like, where he was wow, like, "Wow, I'm being a dick. I'm sorry." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, wow. So like, oh god, it was so funny, dude. Yeah. Wow. When she said that, I just, I'll never forget that. And this was Damn. fucking like. 20 plus years ago don't fuck with her no she was cool i I wish i can remember her name her mom so i didn't drink back then right like i was obviously i was just fresh out of high school and stuff so i um so anyway i uh one of our daughters is poking her head i think she's bored or something one of our children one of our daughters (laughs) (laughs) i know my my daughter it was my daughter his daughter yeah i'll call her a niece she feels like she's a niece she's my stepdaughter i call her my daughter anyway (laughs) anyway uh, yeah. her mom got me this bottle. It was like a little one shot, but it's it's this round bottle of liquor. It it was like purple looking. Hmm. I've seen it before. It's very crown looking, and yeah. I cannot remember the name of this drink. But anyway, she got me this stuff, and I remember I took a sip of not that, but some other drink because some of the employees drank like on, <laughs> during the shift. shift. Yeah, I'm the manager. I didn't give a fuck, you know. <laughs> so they yeah. smoke weed, and stuff. I don't care. They. For me, and this has been my motto even now, I don't give a fuck what you do as long as you get your job done and effectively. And don't violate the law. Don't, well, yeah, yeah. Well, then, yeah, I guess well, that was I, a violation. You know, you Nowadays, it ain't, you know, you can smoke, whatever. And you Maybe. were young. I was young. So I didn't you guys are making sandwiches. Well, I like, mean, we didn't, we day, didn't, like, like <laughs> I didn't ever see him smoke, but I knew they smoked. Get it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I could yeah, smell yeah, it. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, stupid, yeah. you know? No, I got you. But, um, but yeah, but yeah, well, there was drinking on the job. I won't lie. But I didn't drink. I wasn't like a drinker then. That's like, why you were a manager. I was the manager. <laughs> I, you know, like once yeah. I turned 21 is when I actually drank and tried smoking weed and all that stuff. Like that's legit. Like I was such a square. Oh, ooh, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Wait until you're 21. Yeah, I was a good kid. I was terrified of my mom. I made it till 19. No, I was. And so I, I, didn't I took even a, drink so I took a so. sip and I was like, yeah. this is disgusting. Now I'm like trying to recover from drinking too much <laughs> oh god <laughs> i know so like waking I up with the shakes <laughs> i know i'm all having a drink and shit. Uh, no. but no um but it's funny because 
when I worked at Arby's, um, because that's where I worked, we have the beefs. And it was before that. We but have the beef. Oh, the meats or whatever. Meats. Yeah. We have the meats. Yeah, that's what she said. Ooh. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, but um, I remember I was working at this other location, and this guy was being a fucking dick to one of the um drive through ladies. Mm -hmm. And she didn't speak the best English. And I remember I was just like not cool with it because she was she was Mexican and stuff. And yeah. like I was like, he was like, she forgot my change. My, it was like fucking 10 cents. Uh -huh. Right. And she didn't forget his change. He dropped it. Oh, right. Yeah. Anyway, I counted back his money and then I fucking the way I handed it to him. He was like, oh, you know, someone's some about being me being a smart ass, you know, like and I'm like, yeah, well, you know, like whatever. The next day, because I he was being a dick for no reason. And the next day, he, you know, he comes back and he's like, hey, I, ju I just want to apologize. Nice for being for your, for being the way I well, was. And I, I was I was having a bad day, and I took it out, and, <clears throat> and then I just you know and you know I was kind of mature for a fucking nineteen eighteen nineteen year old because I was like you know what I apologize I I shouldn't have been a smart ass towards you either you know like that was not cool but that's such you a know, telling story though because isn't you know that I mean? usually the case I mean like what but if, I thought it was really cool that he came back and and that shows he's probably a decent guy did yeah day. he just probably felt like shit and like you ever felt like shit has those yeah. moments and I will admit there was a yeah. one time that I blew up at somebody at a restaurant and I shouldn't have like I look back on I'm like I was being a douche yeah and yeah. usually there's other reasons that it happens and I think the at, at the end of the day learn from those moments and try yeah. not to treat people with disrespect if you can help it. Like, it's, and, and if someone's truly being disrespectful or whatever, like it's good to deal with an issue. But yes. if someone's serving you, it's, that's a hard job. I don't. It's, it's a tough job. Have a clue how these kids can stand at a window, take your order, and simultaneously do something else. That's what I did, dude. The I was I was the king. To do those two fucking things at getting your order, getting your money. And all that, and I, I was quick. My manager used to put me at the drive-through because I could count back change. Like, dude, if I were, doing I can count that, back change. Just I'm like a, someone give me money, I'd count it back. Just like, I'm a teacher. It was pretty I cool. Dude. What I, was, I do is pretty skill. good. I'm not even gonna lie. But let me tell you, if I had to take an order while counting change, the order would be all fucked up, and their money would be wrong. Yeah. I cannot do. So two I, I gotta once. say, I attribute this to the days of when I was pretty much a square like i didn't drink i didn't do any of that stuff like i had a good mind then not that What's i don't my excuse i didn't i don't know maybe you had you never tried fast food though so you don't know if you could have done it oh i know uh, <laughs> i i didn't well i didn't to. know i could do it but like you know you'd get you'd i know get people because when in. the guys came in and asked for cigarettes it took me eight hours to find what cigarette they were talking I think, about i think part of it is too like I I knew the job. Yeah. I knew there I, I knew that. the cash is. register like the back of my hand. Like I knew that stuff because okay, that's you know what true. I'm saying. That's you true. know, like that's you've true. been there two days, and so Dude, obviously that's hard. The worst thing I did at the gas station. There were two ways to enter stuff. There was like you go through the kiosk and you find the icon for the thing, and mm -hmm. you like put it in that way. The other was to scan it. The only one I really knew how to do was scan. So this guy had a burger that he had like half eaten. And like he put it like on the counter. So like <laughs> I was trying to be very careful not to touch his food. Because he but ate it. I'm just like trying to scan it. And he was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry, but he was white trash. Okay. And he's like, no, let's go, let's go. Do I touch your food? And I was like, I you know what? I am so sorry. And like I you're right. I really shouldn't be doing it this way. And his friend's like, just, it's fine. He's just an asshole. <laughs> He's a I dick. Like, I just told him, like, I'm sorry. This is my he first probably, You know day. what it was? Like, he I, probably seen that you were, like, struggling with picking that up. And he was just like, I'm going to fuck, fuck with this, this guy. Kid, I know. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, telling you. I bet you. Because we, like, you'd get customers that were, like, would be yeah. assholes for, yeah. for whatever reason, dude. You'd get. You get people doing some. I I work at this Fife location. They do a power trip. That's what it is. Yeah, you'd get that, and like you'd get people trying to be funny. Like I work at this location in Fife, and um, the sign in front of the Arby's for whatever reason was a McDonald's sign because McDonald's sat kind of back, <laughs> okay. and so you get people drive through, and they would order McDonald's. Big Macs, and they knew where they were. They were just trying to be funny. Yeah, and then oh, can I get a head of lettuce? 
<laughs> like, oh yeah, you're real fucking funny. But we'd fuck with them too. Like, Did you I, give them a head of lettuce? Yeah, <laughs> I should have. That'll be twenty dollars. <laughs> like, you know how much this is? Uh, and then, like in drive through, uh, we would do different voices and stuff. Yeah. And so when they'd come, you know, you talk normal, and they'd be like, and oh. then, <laughs> like this guy, one of these guys was flirting with some girl, and he was flirting pretty hard with her. Uh-huh. Well, when she pulled up, she wasn't what he thought. Oh, because she, she, she had a really nice voice, you know, uh-huh. she, she sounded, you know, she had, she, he went by sound, obviously, <laughs> um, you know, she wasn't probably the most attractive person to him. Um, and he was like, Hey, can you take this? Can you take this? And I'm like, Nope, that's on you, dude. <laughs> right. You want, <laughs> that's all you to crush her No, You, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all you. Good luck. Yeah. But voices can be very deceiving. So. Oh, it was it was pretty deceiving. Like she had, she sounded, you know, like yeah. I mean, I don't want to be that guy, but you know, no, she wasn't you know the prettiest. What? Honestly, I'm gonna put my neck out there, you be that guy, because frankly, I I've watched no, a well, lot of stuff. So lately. get this. No, you know what? Yeah, we can be them, man. We're, it's not we're saying these people are attractive, but Guys, to this us, is a safe place. they weren't attractive. And what I'm saying is. Because it's okay day, for girls. Why is it okay for girls to say if a guy's not attractive or not? The but it's day not a okay movie for a guy makes the fat guy actually attractive any more than they make a fat girl attractive, like, is the day that I will accept the argument that we objectify women. Men are just as objectified. Every time yeah, your you're wife right. watches a movie and the guy takes his shirt so off. So speaking of those movies, so remember that fucking, was it Office 365 or what was it yes. 365? Baby girl. Hey, baby girl. Baby girl. My Such wife, a hey, stupid fucking movie. So anyway. Dumb. But I just see. All right, let me beat where the, guy the grabs shit out the, of my no. wife. Yes, this is the thing. He grabs her by the back of the neck and then turns around and they start smooching like you it's know, so good. It's and so, so I see the video. He kidnaps her <laughs> and keeps her and tells her, I won't let you leave until you love me. And it works. This is what you guys think is okay. Until but, we do that. Until we do it. And then we go to prison? <laughs> like, like, hello. I, it was in this movie. It was in a movie. I kept her for a year. <laughs> she started know. to love me. It's called Munchausen. <laughs> Munchausen syndrome, it's right? It's a syndrome. <laughs> it is a psychosis. Dude, that was so honestly, ladies, so funny. the day that you accept that, I will start accepting because that get, there what, aren't stereotypes of beauty. Okay? Most of the time, you know, a girl sees a guy with a hot bod and they say, say, go. Just off body alone, you're not looking at the dude's face. You see a guy with a not a hot body, a little chunky, and you see a guy with a six pack looking, looking like is there a looking like face? a nice something something. And is there a butt his face? There's gotta be a butt, <laughs> butt his, his face. face. Looks good, but his face. You know, butterface. Yeah, 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 I know a butterface. But like, I bet you there's that shit, same scenario for right. guy for women. I know women don't trip over me. So if women started tripping over me, then I'd be like, I shouldn't objectify women. You don't know that. What if they do? No, they don't. <laughs> well, I, I think I'm in the same boat. I'm pretty dense. I mean, like Blanca, when I nah. used to, I, there was a time where I was looking pretty good. I will say that. And Blanca used to get so mad. She'd be like, oh, that bitch. Whatever. I'm like, what? Yeah, Man, I, I, don't I don't know. know. There are probably times in my life where people found me attractive. I'm pretty oblivious know. to things. I, I think I'm that, the same but. way. Like, I don't. I don't know. I don't find myself like as an ugly person. I just but... know I like to eat food I and I food. don't like to exercise. So I'm probably not the pinnacle Bro, of beauty in a man's body. At my but... like peak, like physique, I didn't even have a six pack. My, oh, I didn't at either. My, at my best my shape of my life. Best point in my life was right after Blanc and I were like really dating is when we were engaged. This is a highlight. All right. A gay guy. And I mean that respectfully. Yeah, Who well. makes cakes? We went to one of those like. Uh, you wanted to beat them cakes. What do we? <laughs> it's like I want your batter. <laughs> I want that. Uh, no, I want uh, that baby batter. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> like, well, what are you gonna take a discount on that cake? Huh? Because <laughs> uh, you know, uh, that's expensive. Anyway, like, uh, <laughs> anyway, <go ahead. laughs> you can suck my dick, huh? <laughs> no. Just, just kidding. Not okay. Just kidding. Jokes, uh, jokes, anyway, jokes. anyway. Uh, um, so like we were at. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm all fucked up. We were at that event that like yeah, yeah. you know like all these photographers are there and all these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. And there's a cake guy. I can't remember what the cakes were called, but really good cakes, like amazing cakes. And 
I, I was feeling good. Like I was actually going to the gym. I was like really lifting weights. I was getting in really good shape. It was like to the point I would take my shirt off expecting to see this fat guy and I'd like be shocked at who I saw. I felt I, really good. I remember good. those days. And this guy who makes cakes, a gay guy, made me feel very good. He looks at me and goes, you are fit. <laughs> hey. I was like, a gay guy thinks I'm super fit. That's awesome. I'm obviously not now, <laughs> but at the time, it makes you feel good. I felt so good. Dude, I, I felt like a model. For so like I went to the smoke shop. Months. Yeah, and I had a guy tell me, and I don't know if he was trying to hit on me or what, but he was like, "I really love your beard." Well, you, you do a, have a you nice got a beard. very nice beard. You do have a nice like, beard. Oh, thank you. You have nice nails. <laughs> yeah, nice now. <laughs> I'll fucking return your favor. You got some fabulous stiletto nails, bro. I like your <laughs> shoes. <laughs> you have nice um uh, you guys got nice pre-rolls out there in the back. No. Yeah. But no, um you have good weed. Thank right? you. Right. Yeah. No, that's good. It makes you feel good. Like, I don't know. It did. It's been a while. <laughs> I, I wait I weigh but... myself and I'm a lot heavier than I realized. Oh man. I don't weigh I, myself anymore on principle. So but. at one point I was like, okay, I, I've been thinking I was about 200. I'm around 200, right? Yeah. And so I'm like, okay, cool. Weighed myself the other day. I'm like, I'm 210. Oh. I'm like, shit. 210 is my like best weight. Well, yeah, I got but down you, to 190. How tall are you, Tom? I'm 6'4". I'm 5'1". Well, well, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not 5'1". <laughs> I'm 5'0". <five laughs> <foot nothing. laughs> um, I'm like 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, <laughs> but like... No, like at the time, so I tits. got down to 190 back when I was, uh, at that time I was telling you about. Yeah. Like that was really good for me because high school I graduated 210. Okay, okay. And uh, so like no, I, was, I was like 125. I, my, my muscle to fat ratio was probably like right where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Like it was, it was Your good. Your BMI? I still had the the side rolls. I'm one of those unfortunate people to get no, the side No, you, you get what you call it. You had a dad bod steal, though. You had, you know. Because you see these dad but bods. It was a good dad bod. I no. have a real dad bod. No, have you seen the dad bods where they say he has a dad bod? Dude's fucking ripped in shape. Oh. I'm like, bullshit. Get the fuck out of here Ladies, with that bullshit. That's all I'm saying. The day that's not a dad bod is the day that... Then I I will be honest. Then what know. kind of? I got a grandfather bod. Yeah, <laughs> I have an alcoholic bod. Apparently, <laughs> I don't know. It's know. all belly. I know. I told that. Alicia, I'm like, babe, I thought quitting drinking's gonna make me skinny, and I'm fucking still bigger than I was when I was drinking. Yeah, we're we're translating the alcohol to uh, food. to food, probably. I'm probably eat a lot of sweets now. What was it that I? I was think that's what it is, actually. Day. Well, this is the bad. Or time actually, I was probably still just as big. It's just. You know, you got to fucking move and exercise. I don't do that Look, shit. here's the deal. I move and exercise. I do it. It's called yard work. It's called taking care that, of your shit. That's dad bod work. That's dad bod. I'm sorry. I have children that I need to ignore and do other things. Although me and Alicia, <laughs> yeah. the other night, we did some yoga. Yeah. All right. It was like 10 minutes of yoga. Downward facing dog. Yeah. This girl on the, the yoga, like, because on our TV, it like has a channel for it. Uh huh. It's supposed to be like, help you sleep. Um, Move your I'm, body. I was like, dude, I can't stretch like that. But it, it, I mean, it was fairly easy. It was, it was kind of cool. But mm -hmm. yeah, she was moving way too fast for me. She, all next thing, she was like, just as I'm trying to get in the position, she's already in another position. I'm like, holy shit, man. Slow. I love when you realize you just slow like down how bad your center of gravity is but <laughs> the thing she kept doing and alicia pointed this out and we couldn't help but laugh every time anytime this girl would sit down she'd grab both her butt cheeks and spread them open <laughs> <laughs> why i don't know i don't what butt crack. <laughs> so she'd sit on she'd be sitting down and all of a sudden you'd see her go <laughs> Big least, booty, big booty no, on that girl. No, it wasn't either. Really? Oh, she it was like, like that video I showed you where the girl was I'm like, "So lucky, it's cheats." She got a flat ass. It was so flat. It was it was hilarious. Uh, so I'm like, I can see that if she was, you know, had a yeah. big donkey, right? She got a donkey. <laughs> she had a big old donkey. But no, that. it was nothing. But yeah, the yoga thing was it was cool. I wouldn't mind trying to get into yoga a little more. I always think about yoga, but then uh, I am so, uh, I don't stretch. I, well, I think, so. I think I'm at my point right now where I think I'm going to start exercising. I really do. I'm like, all right, I'm going to start eating better Yeah. first and then slowly exercise. Cause I'm, I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't want to be, this I just, guy. I'm wearing stretch pants and shit. I'm going to be wearing the jeggings and shit. <laughs> 
Yeah, where maternity where, pants? When men get to wear spandex. Hey, what about as pants? What, <laughs> men, we gain weight when we get when girls get pregnant. Oh, I my body. I won't even lie. That's why I am the way I am. When I was beautiful so until when, Blocker got pregnant, and then dude, when Blocker I got, got hideous, pregnant with uh, Elena, yeah, like I gained. <sighs> I don't know how much, like at that time I was about 180, which at that time in my life was way heavier than I had been because I usually was around 160 to 165. And that's where I always floated. Then I was like, boom, 180. I was such, so heavy that the year before I did Turkey Bowl, because I've done Turkey Bowl for a long time. Mm -hmm. I did Turkey Bowl. I tore it up, right? I did pretty good. The next year was Turkey Bowl. (laughs) Yeah. That these guys, these are guys I. see on turkey bowl some of these guys and I, how they remembered me i don't know probably because i was killing it i don't know <laughs> but the guy goes oh man you you gained some weight <laughs> i was like damn Fuck. i was like well you know like at the time you know my wife's pregnant yeah. oh like a bunch of guys oh yeah yeah yep. yep. so we get fat too where's our maternity pants yeah dude where's my yeah where's our maternity section dude okay <laughs> Business. Is it not piss hey, anybody else you know off? what? That's it. We're gonna open our own maternity pants for men. Go to Macy's. Women get their entire store. You know what it is for men? Men and children. I was gonna say, yeah. As it used to be. It still is. Yeah. See, that's not fair. Although, and, do we really shop? I don't know. But no, no. I want a maternity section. Damn it. Hey, <laughs> I want comfortable fat guy clothes. So now, get this. Hey, I want fat if, guy clothes for actual tall guys because they're never actually big and tall. Just means really fucking big. That's all it means, <laughs> dude. I used to hate going to Burlington because everything was for big and tall. Yeah. And I would see that. And I'm like, I'm not trying By to. By the way, it. our local Burlington is like half the size it used to be. It got. I thought it got remodeled and it's bigger. It did. No, it's way smaller. Go in I, there. I know. I have. I don't know if it's bigger or smaller. I can't tell. It's smaller. Well, at least he worked there. It's smaller. She worked there. Was it last? Um, I had been in there in probably four years. Last it's Christmas. Way smaller. They remodeled since last Christmas. It's really? Yeah, it's, it's a little different. Well, maybe it's been smaller. I it's eat... been the same store, though. No, it. let me tell you. I think I... it's because they added uh, more registers than they used to have. I'm telling That's... you, dude. I'm because because the the way the registers are now, there's more of them along that wall. When you used to go through the front door, it was miles of men's clothes. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the thing. Men's, oh, so even much. at Ross, the men's section is very slim. There's not a lot. Well, and I get it. I and, don't buy clothes. All my clothes now come from Walmart. I just dude, am not willing to spend So I used to go to, um, I still go to Ross, but the clothes I like, like I, I'm a t-shirts and like, pants you know, i like t-shirts and pants guys. i like wearing shirts and just pants. so you know shirts and pants yeah <laughs> i like wearing shirts and panties that's it that's all i like to wear I like speedos <laughs> that's all i want um lacies yeah. <laughs> i like lacy panties on me. <laughs> i want the thong i want my cheeks to i worked with teeth. a guy that wore a thong I remember uh, that's fine. He was that's like right. getting some on the bottom shelf when I worked at the fencing company. <laughs> you fucking saw the. I saw thing. the well tail. He had the well tail. He had this red thong up his ass, and the guys used to say oh, he why? he wears a why? you know he wears a thong, and I'm like whatever. And this dude was your size, but yoked. He was a big. He was kind of buff and like he was a big dude. Like yeah, not shouldn't have been wearing super those. tight jeans though. He wore some tight ass jeans. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Uh, but like when own. he was down there grabbing some stuff, uh, some material, I just happened to walk by because I was <laughs> grabbing some like brackets. And as I like turned my head, I was like, "Oh shit!" Do you think anyone's ever? And just, I like, looked, and I'm like, it and snapped him in the back. God, of it? I should have. <laughs> like, I can see them doing that. If there, you too. wear one of those, sorry, you deserve it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, look, if like if that's your thing, that's fine. You got a well. Like, I, I don't know, like. But uh, no, I so do it, but. so like Ross now they don't have the clothes they had like that I like because I get like the branded like skater looking clothes I don't know it's something I've always, I've wore those yeah, since sure, high school sure um but now it's like it it looks like cartoon characters and it's like bright colors like eighties like Saved by the Bell shit is oh, what I'm looking crap. at now all right which actually Saved by the Bell there's, they got that now there's a I yeah reboot right? I didn't yeah it has Slater's in there Jesse. All of them, except for what's his name? Screech. Right? Well, Screech he's dead, died, right? Yeah, they did a tribute to Screech on it, didn't they? But I mean, he wasn't the. He wasn't the nicest guy, right? No, he had some issues. He was a, Bob and Tommy. 
hate that guy. Really? Yeah. Because of his attitude. He, they, he had him on the show, but I guess he was, yeah, they did not care for him. Yeah. Maybe that's why I don't, don't like him. Because yeah. I like Bob and Tom. So. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, no, fuck. They don't, I can't find clothes anywhere now. I don't even know. I, like you said, I've been I, going to Walmart. I don't know. I'm in the sweats now. Look, I've always I, been in the sweats. <laughs> golf now there's a thing called shorts. gray, gray pants, gray sweatpants season. I just been seeing shit. I'm like, what the? F- I wore gray slant pants my whole life. Apparently, it's there's a season for it. Yeah, it shows the man's mooner a lot better. Oh, <laughs> a little junk swinging around. Well, next time I wear my, I'm gonna wear a, pr- a prosthetic or something, <laughs> so it looks like I'm-, I'm gonna get the biggest dildo I can find. <laughs> a real swinger, ladies. <laughs> Walking, hey, baby. I'm knee knocking. Let me tell you. Can we go in the room real quick? So, see, that's the thing that seconds. I don't like is, like, at school, sometimes they'll do, like, um, uh, like pajama day, pajama dress up day. Oh. Male teachers can't really pajama dress up. You can't. It's not Oh, yeah, I'm going to really show up in my fucking boxers. What I did, I had to go buy, like, the biggest old man pajamas I could <laughs> Button find. up. So I have like my clothes underneath it. Flannel yeah, it button is, up. It is. It is. It <laughs> Flat is. or whatever. It's, 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 I'm the boy in the striped pajamas. It's, it's like. So you got the hat with I, the little the, candle. I should. Oh, what I'm going to do this year. <laughs> Are you going to do the candle? I'm going to I'm gonna buy this Ebenezer Scrooge. There I'm going to get go. the white uh, dress. Well, you have the flap in the back. Yeah. So uh, you can take a shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. Hey, kids, do you know what this is for? So I can shit. Why is that back there? I never understood well, that. Well, because one. when you're in the outhouse, I mean, God forbid you have to pull the damn thing up. I guess that makes sense. You don't want to shit all over it when you're half asleep and you walked <laughs> half house. a mile out of your backyard. I'm thinking just pull your can pants Can you down. imagine having to take a piss? How many people just opened their window and pissed out the window? Millions. If they were men, every yeah. single one of them. Seriously. So, so Bucket, he has, you know, have, you've never, you have never been to his property, have no. you? No. No. So he has a, a like an outhouse type yeah. thing he set up. Um, so there's been times I've you know had to take a deuce. Yeah. So you go out there into this little outhouse and, bro, I had to take one in the middle of the night once and it is not fun because it's you're in the woods. It's dark. It's dark. And so he has like a little light and stuff. There's lights and stuff in there. But it's so both. scary. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> Nothing there. makes you like a little bitch than going in the woods at night. I, I don't know. care who you are. That's I know terrifying. Bucket's probably like, yeah, whatever. I don't fucking yeah. care. But like, oh, I like. Oh, I guess I'll go out there. <laughs> You're JJ in it. Yeah. Well, I gotta take a poop. I guess I'm gonna go poop alone. <laughs> Looks like I'm all alone out here. <laughs> hey, bear. <laughs> Every 20 minutes. Hey, bear. <laughs> I was just talking to Alicia because on the loan they were doing the hey, bear thing. I'm like, Who, I does that it. work? I, mean, I, I go, know, me and Tom but... would do it just to do it because we thought it was hilarious. I only knew about it because of you, and yeah. I loved it. Out of nowhere, you would just yell, hey, bear. <laughs> I just do because I thought it was so funny. Time, I would laugh. <laughs> well, I do hear that if you make noise, it does make me go. circling yeah. back. We're very good at this now. We're yeah. like professional at this. We're circling back to the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> like we're... if you don't want bears around you, you got to make human noise. We do don't like human noise. Well, you know, one thing I did <laughs> learn too is because um, like cougars, <clears throat> if they think you're looking at them, they won't attack. So like I would wear purposely wear like my sunglasses backwards. Or oh yeah. I seen a show where the guy like actually um sewed eyeballs onto the back of his like beanie. Mm. So when he'd have it on, it looked like eyes were in the yeah staring. It was it was pretty. That's where I got the idea. And so nice. hmm. uh, when I was watching that alone show, actually, uh, that guy cut, ran into a cougar. Yeah. He would look. Yikes. He's like, what is that? And he looks, and the cougar's just looking at him. And then, <laughs> yeah, he's like, hey. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> and then it took off like, ah, fuck yeah. it. Fuck, I'm, I'm compromised. So my uncle who passed away last summer, Jerry. R.I.P. Jerry. Yeah, R.I.P. Um, he was really amazing outdoorsman. And he said that there was a night he his truck broke down out in the woods. He was uh, deer hunting. Yeah. And he was uh, trying to walk back to his camp. It was like an eight mile walk. Mm-hmm. And he was on this pitch black road. He's like, there was no light anywhere. He had to kind of like keep his hands kind of stretched. He had a bow and he could hear a cougar. He'd been out there long enough that he knew what, you know, all the animals sounded like. All he'd hear was twigs cracking from time to time. Just slowly. So he knew there was a cougar stalking him. 
That's so scary. And he's like, I just had to keep walking and keep acting like I knew it was there. Hey, hey bear. Like, hey, cougar. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know Meow. how he got out of there. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Meow. That, Meow. How scary. Yeah, I mean, it was scary enough that he remembered and he kept telling us about it. Like, anytime we talk about it, like, yeah, he's like, yeah, he was pretty. Dude. But he was a big guy. I mean, he was. Your like, Uncle Jerry, yeah, oh, he yeah. was big. He, he, was he as tall as you? Uh, he was as tall as me, but he was very stocky. Yeah, he so was. So if a cougar had attacked him, even at 60, he probably would have just grabbed it and slammed it to the ground. He was he was a big guy. He grabbed it by its throat. <laughs> there was a kid once, a teenage guy. <clears throat> They were, uh, my aunt and him were pulling into a parking lot at Fred Meyer Mm -hmm. and they got out of the car and the kid, I don't know if like somebody took somebody's spot or what the altercation was, but they called aunt Karen a bitch. (sighs) You don't do that. He told her, she said, shut up, bitch. Uncle Jerry grabbed the kid by the throat and slammed him up against the wall. Like you've seen the movies and, and shit. And he put his arm back like this. Aunt Karen grabbed it and said, no. And the kid's like, I won't sue you, man. Oh. He let him down. But, like, that's my uncle, Jerry. He, at 59 years old, lifted this 17-year-old punk off his feet, slammed him against the wall. Like I bet that was ready to plow him put in the, the next fear God in that kid. His eyes were pretty big. I wish I had been there to actually see it. The story is amazing, and frankly, there are some assholes out here that deserve. I just think there's that many trip. assholes out there that deserve you, that. I, the fact that our society doesn't value respecting their elders makes me sick. Not nowadays. Yeah, you remember no. back in the day they had the knockout game, like people were purposely hitting old people and shit. They Let were me like, tell you, you ought to be shot. You hit an old person and like knock they them were down. like. They were, I guess, that it wasn't just old people, but a lot of old people was getting targeted. Where they were just like, come yeah, up and just they punch them in the back of the head, so they would just, dude, like I don't know, respect, respect. Please, please let that happen to me because I would probably. Let me tell you, in a Hispanic family, good luck. You disrespect your tío. Good luck. Good luck. I hope you're good at running because your tío is gonna fuck you up. Yeah, and you fucking deserve it. I, I, <laughs> I love kids, believe me, and I would never hit a child. Like I don't believe in child abuse, but I do believe. I mean, there's not, there's times to do there abuse are some your kids. kids. I'm kidding. There you, isn't. But no, there's there's times where you feel that way. I do think where you want to. It is not abusive know. to teach your children to be respectful to adults, and if they're not, to punish them accordingly. And that doesn't mean you beat them. Yeah, the spanking never hurt anybody. No, I think spanking if okay. it works. Look, we've had this conversation. Yeah, we had this right? with, little, with Eddie. With little Eddie. Look, it's and some kids don't need it. Some kids no. do. If your kid has no fear that anybody can do anything to them, find the thing that hurts and do it. Because yeah, I mean, don't beat them. But like, <laughs> if losing their video so I games took hurts. a gun to my, you know, yeah. <laughs> shooting him was the only thing. Well, <laughs> this is only fear. No, so I actually heard saying, this story but... where this lady shot her. God, was it her son-in-law or something? Hmm. But he was like a, or her grandson or something. But he was a little shit. Little, he was an asshole. Like, <laughs> this old lady. Fuck, little... <laughs> she blew, She killed him. Oh. Like she shot him and she was like fine with it. So we're not condoning that. No, we're not condoning <laughs> that. But I was just yeah. like. Uh, we're not condoning actually like beating your child. We're I just was saying... just like in shock at her attitude towards it. Like, no. Like, no, yeah. I, yeah, I shot him. Like, he had it coming, like, fuck him. Like, I guess he was a shit to her, and he, she just finally was fed up. I was like, fuck. Don't All right. That, grandma. At least make a story, lady, if you want to avoid prison. <laughs> but, but um, hey. I don't know. You shouldn't beat your kids. Don't beat your kids. But a little spanking, if it I mean, works, uh, you got to teach them respect. I got, like, like we've talked about, like, I, I've got my ass beat. Like, Yeah. Well, and the biggest thing is. I just got a twitch now. That's it. <laughs> I just move away from people. Yeah, anybody raise their hand, that guy is scared. All I know is, like, you got to teach your kids respect. And that means it's probably more work on the parent. We got to be a less lazy society. You know what I think would work? Hmm. And this is something I was going to bring up. Was if you actually told kids the backstory to nursery rhymes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah because we were watching this thing and they were singing ring around the rosies and i was like that's a fucking creepy song it's all a pause and then i was like telling Lizzie that you know there's like i don't i at the time i didn't remember the story but there's but it it had to do with the like the plague black death yeah i was like on the rosie 
Because you'd get these rings on your body. Pockets <laughs> full of posies. They thought the posies would help Like you. help them. Ashes, ashes. They burnt the bodies. We all fall down. Everyone's going to die. <laughs> it was fucking creepy. Can you imagine that pandemic? Dude. Let me tell you, people would be wearing masks. I want to hear a fucking nurse around for COVID. <laughs> Ring around the rosy. Some of us will get sick. <laughs> Others will be mad. <laughs> um, there was another one. Let me see if I can find it here. I I, I brought it up. Because... I want to know Rockabye Baby. When the bell Man. breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will come baby, cradle and all. Like, that's pretty dark. I don't know the backstory, but there's got to be something horrific to that. Yeah, see, this one didn't have the dark side of that one. So it had um, blah, 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 the stuff of night, blah, blah, black sheep. Blah, blah, black sheep. Is about the medieval wool tax have you imposed. Any wool, right? Yeah, it was about the medieval tax um, imposed on the 13th century king yes, sir, by King yes, sir. Edward Three pounds. Earth. Full. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Okay. Ringling around the roses. Obviously, we just talked about a rock by baby refers to events preceding the glorious revolution. The baby in question is supposed to be the son of King James the second. Oh, but was widely believed to be another man's child. Oh, smuggled into the birthing room <laughs> to ensure a Roman Catholic hair. Hmm. The rhyme is laced with connotation. The wind may be the protestant forces blowing in from the netherlands the doomed cradle the royal house of stuart the earliest recorded version of the words in printed contain the ominous footnote this may serve as a warning to the proud and ambitious who climb so high that they generally fall at last so that was written by the protestants or the catholics um was one of them believe i'm gonna say the protestants because they were trying to overthrow the, the Catholic, the Roman Catholic. Yeah. Wow. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Yes. It was about Bloody Mary, the daughter of King Henry the Oh, VIII. Bloody Mary. And the and it was in concerns the torture and murder of Protestants. Queen Mary was staunch. Is that how you say it? Staunch. Staunch. Okay. Catholic, and her yeah. garden here <clears throat> is an allusion to the graveyards. Mm. Which were filling the Protestants' martyrs. The silver barrels were thumbscrews. Wow, which is a this next word is pretty funny. Cockle shells oh. <laughs> are believed to be the instruments of torture, which were attached to men and their cock balls. Wow, or as they put, male genitalia. Male genitalia. But yeah, <laughs> that could be more than balls, dude. And I, I remember in high school, I took a class on. Some of the like fables or whatever, like Little Red Riding Hood, yeah. all that shit. And that's actually like we dove way deep into that shit. Like the guy after her was a rapist and all this shit. It was, and the wolf was, or the wolf was the raper or something. It was crazy. It was, well, you've heard that song. It was, it was pretty deep. Hey, that little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That song. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can see that. But yeah, it was yeah. it was pretty crazy the shit you get into. I had a college professor that was all about penises and we had every every everything that we read. Every single thing was made phallic. Everything. Yeah, you see in this story uh, <laughs> the, the the tree represents a penis. Mark Mark Twain's like, a paddle represents yeah, the like, penis he used. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mark Twain's paddle. It was his wiener. It was his wiener. And it's like everything we read, it was a sexual read. And like now that's called sexual harassment. I feel very uncomfortable. I think every professor I had in college for the most part probably could not get away with half of the shit they said now. You can't but, get away with anything. No, I don't know how that works with uh, I, I have a feeling that like the uh, time's up type thing has changed the college campus quite a bit. What, the 15 minutes or? <laughs> well, <Right>. just like <laughs> the time's up. What is that? That is like the sexual harassment stuff, right? Oh, where it's like you can only file within so long. No, no, no. Was. Time's up is one of those movements I've never heard where of it's like it's like a Me Too, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Time's up, meaning like we're not going to put up with harassment anymore. We're putting an end to sexual harassment okay, okay. and all that i Which had a, cool. i had a, i was friends with a little person in college and um like um like yeah like a small person the, like the, the like not midget. nice word is midget she did yeah. not appreciate that well, term. yeah, yeah but, i get it a uh, little person at least at the time was the proper term i haven't known anyone personally uh, for a long mid, time but some little people are <clears throat> pretty attractive though so well and 
I mean, I wasn't attracted to her, but yeah, she yeah, was no, a good friend. Just... And I was in a class, <laughs> a Shakespeare class, and there was a girl. Uh, my professor, for no reason, went into Polish jokes and started telling Polish jokes. And a girl got offended and said, I'm Polish. And he goes, do you know? He was old as shit. He was, just, he was really a dick. And he just goes, do you know Paul Ox? Did you hear the one about the Polish Navy? They had screen doors in the bottoms of the boats. I don't get and, it. Okay. <laughs> there wasn't much to get. He, the first class we had, uh, he, like, told I us, don't get he told us the entire, like line by line, a movie with Jodie Foster. I don't remember what it is. And at one point, he talks about like a guy was going to rape her and she puts a knife to his throat. And says like, "Oh, cut off your dick" or something like. It was graphic, but he was telling us, and we're like, "This has to do with Shakespeare." How? And he had tenure. Now with that, what it uh, was. Uh, Romeo and Juliet. So uh, and, yeah, I'm like, okay, at least tie it into something. So Macbeth, he was just telling us a, a movie. Yeah. And then later, so my friend, where she comes into it, she had taken his class before, and guess what? He chose to tell jokes about midgets, little people, little yep. people. Yep. Sorry, I don't mean to say the midgets, entire little time. People. She said that was all he would ever. Like, God, that'd be that annoying great. as shit. I'll bet he can't get away with it now. Because at the time, you were protected under, um, what is that? That they have uh, academic freedom or The whatever. white man freedom? Yeah, I yeah. got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> he was white. He, he laughed one time and told us about how his wife would, like, pull. <laughs> it's got a little funny. Anal bees out of that. <laughs> <laughs> probably <laughs> that, that was a metaphor for <laughs> <whoop>. <laughs> she would like yank the but she would uh pull the <laughs> the, the cord for the vacuum cleaner out yeah. of the wall like without like removing it from the socket she uh, just yanked I, the cord. i've done that a million times and he was like you're going to get that and one day she did and he laughed he told us the story and he laughed about how this idiot that he's married to got like dude <laughs> nothing made me happy in two years later because he gave me a fucking c in that class i'm like okay because <laughs> you didn't laugh at his polish probably because so. i wasn't gonna be an asshole and then he um so wait wait polish or I, I look i'm playing i'm playing, what? I'm playing. <laughs> he walks outside of the building and he was a smoker how he was still alive i will never know and he had a a neck brace on, and I thought if I could have been there, well, whatever happened where he needed the neck brace. You know what happened was after she electrocuted herself and he laughed, she fucked him she up. Fucked him up. I hope somebody kicked him down Dude, the staircase. He was a fucking women asshole. don't forget shit. No, and they don't forgive either. No, like they will remember that, and then that will come back to you yep. at one point or another, even if you've settled it. Even if it's fine. You know, if she didn't say anything after that, oh, oh payback was a brewing in her ever brain. Tells in you, her brain, she was already like, okay, this is what we're going to yeah. do. I won't, It won't kill him, but he'll be in a neck brace. Yeah. Guaranteed. If she ever said, it's okay, honey. You're run. It's you not better okay. leave for a while. Anytime a woman says it's okay, it's not. It's okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. It's okay. <laughs> and if they're super calm, they're fucking, that's a sociopath type. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. You want to go out there, boys? Go ahead. Go to sleep. Go Just with your boys. Sleep. You deserve it. You deserve it. Sleep. Just yeah. Sleep. Dude, you're hungover? Yeah, you can sleep in. Bullshit. Okay. I know better than if I'm hungover. I just fucking time to get up. <laughs> yeah, dude, I eat it like I'm just I might be feeling like shit all day, but I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> Where I'm so, go, this is how stubborn I am. There'd be times where I was like hungover and I knew, you know, Obviously, my wife was probably not too happy with the fact that I like was hammered the night before or whatever. And so it's like, fuck you if you're hungover, you know? Yeah. That's your fault. I would still somehow mustered up the the shit and just push through the day. Yeah. And it was all because I was stubborn because I'm like, nope, I am not letting this one no, I'm not. I'm this not getting. Go fester. I'm not getting. The, <laughs> uh, I told now. you so. I'm not getting one of them. Yeah, I told right. you so's because I was just like, all right, fuck oh, it. Man. But then also, I mean, I think that's just part of being a man. Sometimes you know, if you fuck up like that, you just man up. And you got to. You got to own the fact that you did that. Like I remember, we um, went to the. It's called Digs Kids Dig Rigs or something. Yeah, oh, they yeah. have like monster trucks and they have all this stuff. And the night before, I got pretty, pretty hammered. 
This was years ago. We were probably hanging out the night. We probably were, but I was, <laughs> I, I was like, I got, I, this was probably one of the worst, like worst hangovers I've ever had. Um, and I was like, fuck man, we got to go to this thing. And I was just like, I'm not, I didn't say anything. I, I just got up and got ready. And Alicia's like, Oh, you're going. I'm like, yeah, let's just, let's go. You know? Yeah. And dude, when I tell you, like, I felt like I did not feel good that whole, yeah. like for most of that day until I was drinking this, um, I don't know. It was like spark energy and, or, or something like that was in this, this, um, like a thermal flask thing. And I was drinking that. And I think that kind of helped like rehydrate yeah. me a little bit, nice. but dude, I electrolytes. Was, you got I was, the electrolytes. I was feeling like dog shit. Yeah. But I, but I, you know, I, you know, like I said, you got to man up sometimes when you, when you fuck up, you got to man up. Um, but I don't know. That was, that was, a thing, bro. <laughs> yeah. but yeah, that was tough. Yeah. I've had some bad ones, but yeah. Ugh. <clears throat> But yeah, I well, don't know. I think that's good. I think we're good. We're at like an hour 44. Yeah, that went by quick. It went really fast. I hope that you guys are still with us out there. I think yeah. uh, this is a fun one. I this enjoyed one. it. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so did I. And, we uh, had some fun. Hey, you know, if you're out there and you're listening, why don't you drop us a line? Hello. <laughs> Go just really blend at gmail.com. Just really blend at gmail.com. We probably should throw these in the beginning. Yeah. I think we'll probably cut this and make think, it its own little thing. I know right? we do this little thing. Yeah. Right. But there. I'm going to have this little thing. I think I'm going to put that on for the whole currently. time. And something that Tom doesn't know about. Um, you can also follow us on TikTok. <gasps> We're on TikTok. We are. Hey. At just weirdly blended. At just really tiktok.com yeah so my buddy <laughs> even a dot my com my, my i don't know tiktok That's, i signed up on uh, like at work all right uh, hey. my 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 buddy aaron the one who like did our intro for us and yeah stuff, um he was just he reached out to me like hey, you know how's triple guys podcast going and stuff because he started a podcast and it's uh his is going pretty good nice. and he was saying he he hit off on um on TikTok pretty well. And I was like, dude, I, I think we need to get on there. And I All remember right. Valerie was telling, telling us the us same. TikTok, yeah. Same we thing. haven't so, done TikTok. We're so I think I'm going to try to do things. like the shorts there too. Nice. Um, I just got to figure out because what it does when it shrinks us, it does the, the resolution looks like oh. dog shit. So I'm like, cause there's a way you can make it where it's in that, you know, for mobile apps. Or yeah. Whatever. Right. But it, it, but it looks, it looks like a dog shit. We need to fix that. Um, but, yeah. Um, okay. Well, cool. So we're about to be on TikTok. We folks. are. We're on TikTok oh, we're now. On t- we're on TikTok. Um, but let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at my friends. Dang, I might as well promote my man here. Um, here he is. I'm just trying to go to his page here. <laughs> uh, what is? He? So he's. What are they called? That's what I'm trying to figure out. It's called like. Oh, here we go. Sorry, guys. Creative culture is oh, what his is. Nice. And his is about like vlogging and, and, and doing stuff like that. Like okay. how to do that. Nice. So anybody out there want to do that? Creative culture. Uh, my buddy Aaron. This sounds pretty cool. Yeah, he's he's a cool guy. Nice. Uh, he's good. He, he's good. He's good down to earth. They do like two podcasts or something like yeah. uh, okay. they record. They record a bunch at one time kind of thing and then release them. Oh, that's Which is pretty cool. smart. We don't do that. We do one a week. One a week. We what did. you get? Boom, we did it that By the day. way, episode 13. 13. Lucky number 13. Like lucky number 13 this week. Hell, 13 hells yeah. weeks in a row. Dude, that's crazy. I know. But yeah. Um, All right. You guys have a good fucking rest of your week, and I'm glad you guys are still here, the ones that are here. And yeah, keep listening. I really feel like friends. we're going to be growing. Yeah, tell your friends, yeah. tell your family, tell your mama. Hit us up. Hit us up, motherfuckers. We're out this bitch in the fucking house no i'm not even gonna attempt to rap like i can't rap i can't rap but you guys have a good week love you we're out